Does my hair look okay? Good. <laughs> We caught that on air. Good morning, everyone. We're waving to you from the control room on board the RV Falcor. We are in the control room of ROV Sebastian. You see our pilots are dressed up for Halloween. Happy Halloween, everyone out there who celebrates it. Oh, he always looks like this. Yeah, no, he really, something's happened while we were at sea. So we are currently descending to around 3,650 meters depth. And we are about 500 meters off the seafloor, 500, 600 meters. And we will be dropping into a site south of a hydrothermal vent known as the Z vent. And we have been exploring this site for probably six years now. And uh, we have a team of biologists and microbiologists who are interested in characterizing the organisms that live at these very unusual habitats. And these are hydrothermal vents. They are pretty specialized habitats where there is hot venting water coming from the seafloor and creating these chimneys. And these chimneys in this habitat are made of calcite, or a, a form of calcium carbonate and that's pretty unusual compared to other undersea volcanoes. And so we're quite interested in the chemistry, the geology, uh, the volcanism, and the biology, of course. We've had two legs prior to ours, and we had some folks mapping the seafloor in the basins, not only in this basin, Pescadero Basin, but also in two basins north of this. And so we're very interested to come back to those basins on a, a subsequent expedition. But for now, we're in the southern Pescadero Basin. It is one of the deepest sites in the Gulf, probably the deepest site in the Gulf of California. And these are some of the deepest known hydrothermal vents. So pretty exciting uh, scene here. I've got, um, let's see, we have J-Rod, Jared, and John, a marine tech. And then we've got a few of the scientists also here. Microbiologists are starting to to come in to get us set up. Oh, and we're gonna maybe. Do you want to sample this? Oh. How many? How many yeah. samples do you have so uh, far? Well, we've only used the two jars. So the one for the float up, and yeah. the one for a little bit of that. Uh, the larvation. Uh, uh, yeah, that didn't get all that much. So. Okay, we could do this guy. Right. Let's do it. So index. Are we at number one? So we, some of the microbiologists here, Victoria Orphan has a, has a project looking at the microbes that colonize marine snow and other forms of sinking organic particulates. And so we'll see here, this is a very delicate operation. J-Rod is going to try to suction sample this abandoned larvation house. So this is an animal, tiny little animal. Actually, in our in our phylum so closer related to us um, called a larvation and it uh, makes these mucus houses and then it bundles up all that food and consumes the food on the mucus house and then abandons the mucus house and makes another one and so we're interested in the microbes that colonize this abandoned sinking organic material and let's see we got a little bit of it and you can see how effective this mucus house is in capturing organic particles because you see it's stuck all over that mucus webbing. So this is our suction sampler and we have eight canisters on board the ROV. And so we can index this canister and then go collect something else discrete. So we can keep, we can collect eight discrete samples essentially using the vacuum cleaner. Got a little bit of it. So about 500 meters was our target depth. Specifically, do you have the 3668? 500 meters to go, and uh, this site will be a petroleum-rich, hot, hot. Uh, these sediments are very hot, uh, 200 degrees Celsius, and so we're interested in the temperature limits for life on this planet as well and so we'll be you'll be uh, watching us take some sediment cores to analyze the bacteria 
back on the ship. There's another one. Do you want me to try again? Let's see. We're um, going to be mindful of time. Do you, um, yeah. Oh, yeah, in Flotta. Um, do you want him to try for others? No, it's just me. Okay. Making a beeline for the seafloor. Samples of opportunity. Samples of opportunity. Okay. S1. Uh, you want me to just say that that's all marine snow? Yeah, and then um, 31. Did anyone see the first one? It was early on. The depth of the first one? Uh, they took they took a they put it in the sea log. Yeah, um, yeah, we've got the frame breath. It might be there too. Then, uh, if it's in the sea log. Great. Put it in this marine snow sample. Great. Okay, thanks, John. Same with the floater. Yep. Okay. Quite a nice looking witch's hat you got there, Victoria. There's a lot of Halloween costumes around here. Okay. John, do you have the, um, there's a couple animal photos in the participant data file we could talk about Absolutely. seeing yesterday. <laughs> Here it's not that exciting, just the hat. Yeah, but you would have your, you, you would be uh, really zoomed in. Yeah, there's one of them. So we're showing you an inset here of uh, a few of the animals that we saw yesterday in the water column during our descent. And this this one is a brooding squid named Gonatus. And you can see uh, she has uh, probably thousands of eggs clutched into her arms. And apparently this species has special hooks on uh, six of their eight arms that allow them to actually uh, clasp and hang on to these eggs. And uh, she'll hang on to them for six to nine months until she's exhausted and the eggs hatch. And uh, it's a pretty um, rough life for cephalopod parents, but um, you know, successful. And uh, for a long time, people didn't realize that there was a uh, an egg brooding squid in this fashion. So uh, obviously most cephalopods, um, can't, many of them can sit on their eggs and protect them, but this one actually drags them around. And this was first discovered, it was hypothesized by people uh, long ago and then uh, discovered by ROV observations um, maybe five years ago. <clears throat> oh, do you want to? Let's, uh, let's just look at the anglerfish. I think Victoria will talk about rocks later. <clears throat> yeah, that one. Ah. This is amazing video that J-Rod and others uh, captured yesterday, and this is a, a still frame of this animal. Of course, you probably are familiar with it. It's an uh, anglerfish, female, and uh, she had this incredibly luminous lure in front of her face. And so two notable things. Um, one is the lure that is filled with bacteria actually. So there are luminescent bacteria in that lure that help um, her lure prey. And then the other interesting thing is it, you can see this what looks like kind of like a fin or an appendage on the left hand side. That is actually the male. Yep. 
so the tiny male attached and so it was a really amazing video just in time for Halloween uh, we see this amazing animal but I wanted to mention um, this business about the the male being so much smaller than her you can see him on the left hand side there uh, a little bit uh, brown more brownish than she is yes um, so he uh, swam up to her and uh, bit into her side like that and then his jaws fuse into her body and he ends up um, permanently attached to her and then uh, she uses sperm for his sperm for reproduction but you have to consider uh, if you're a deep sea animal um, you don't really have much of a chance to find a mate and so this is actually an amazing strategy and a really successful strategy so you can miniaturize the males and have them attached to her so when she's ready to produce viable eggs uh, the sperm will be available and so these relationships like this don't just form um, of course randomly there's natural selection towards some kind of uh, reproductive strategy that works in this particular environment when there is so few mates um, to find and so we see we see uh, miniaturized males quite a bit in deep sea animals. All right, thanks, John. We'll do rocks. You wanna? You'll talk about rocks when you're sampling rocks. <laughs> Yes, fluorescent rocks, just in time for Halloween as well. Did you take pictures of people's fluorescent gloves? I, I do have to do fluorescent gloves. That would be a good photo to show to. Gloves. gloves. So, uh huh. Are there rocks separately somewhere? They're in that same folder. Same folder. Ah, how long does it live before? We'll have to find out. This? They want to we'll, these guys? we'll talk about them um, later when we're. Okay. Yeah, so I. So the pair really cool. Yeah. So that's all natural fluorescence. Let's see. Oh, is it the, and oil. Uh, radioactive? There is a little bit of it. Yep. It's, it's low small, amount. low radioactivity. Low yeah. levels. Like a banana. <laughs> as radioactive as a banana. It may be less than a banana. Yeah. Okay, yeah. man. We didn't, try, we didn't try a banana. Let's try a banana. <laughs> oh, fun things to do. Etsy. Should I send the glove samples on the side? Somebody else tell how long the males, the anglerfish males, uh, swim around before they attach to the female. I suspect that is unknown. It's pretty tricky to um, really definitively understand questions, answer questions like that, um, because we don't, you know, these are mostly encounters of opportunity and. Uh, we sometimes don't know what even the juvenile life stage looks like, let alone um, either the male or female if they have separate sexes. And so it's a great question. Um, it would be very hard to answer that question without being able to rear them in the laboratory somehow. Could you use for the opalescent scales? Yeah. What type of anglerfish was it again? I said viper. I oh oh they're talking okay so um, the anglerfish that we saw yesterday was the one we showed you just now the the dragonfish I thought it was a dragonfish that you saw this morning earlier. I didn't see it but there was a rumor that it was a different kind and it it also had a lure. Yeah, the, yeah. the, the, the little mm -hmm. skinny one. Yeah, yeah, that's uh. The one from yesterday. 
The one from yesterday, I only know the family. I don't know the name of the fish. I think they were, um, there was one that we also saw this morning, which is a different one than the one I just referred to. Are we? I see them almost every day. They just cool. Really? They're dragging. Yeah, yeah. Is this? Hey, John, is this actually, is this east of our the site we want to be to? So we actually want to go further west? I mean, not, not just. Uh, I thought that the oily mats were further east from here. Yeah, I, I Am I getting that wrong? Do you think they're still further west? Okay. You may land a little. No, no, I just, I'm double checking with John here. So you think we're right on them? John? Okay. You have them as southwest of Zeman? Yes. Okay. Oh yeah, no, I know that. Those are amazing photos. Structure. Yeah, you took that this one. Took that little okay. one. Yeah. It was hot. We were, so yeah. Right. It was a little bit of uh, maybe. I feel like it's more south. I'm more to do south, but. Well, he will look. Oh, dragonfish. Dragonfish. Yeah. Is that? Yeah. I don't know if you want to talk. Okay. Stone me a day. Yeah. Is this who you saw this morning? Oh, go ahead. That spire? Okay. Yeah. I think that is our chip. Oh, we just have a little bit of an offset. Alright, go ahead. So I would, I would We're also looking for lots of mats. Yeah, that's that's the that's the dive target. That's the dive target? Yeah. Okay. Roger. I mean, we can we can land we can land here and make our way over. Up to you. Yeah. I can start working my way over there now, or I think we should. I think we should land and make our way now. Yeah. Let's. Yeah. So let's. I'm working. I say let's. Let's drive over it and see. Yeah. Yeah. So let's just we'll go we'll head to the sea floor and then we'll make our way. Since we might have some offset. Yeah, John, I seem to remember there's this this little guy. This is one the guy here, and then there's also this other one. Oh! Carrying, also brooding eggs. Everybody. I think it's eggs. That's its back end, right? It's like lifeguard training in this. Well, I don't know. Uh, they look, they do look a little weird. It, I, at first, I thought it was sea snot, but they seem a little too. Yeah, let's definitely track them. Uh, look at those back legs, though. They kind of seem attached to it. We'll ask Karen Osborne. She will know. The Smithsonian. Think. Get in there. Uh, Get in view. <laughs> it seems so symmetrical. I feel like it might be eggs. 
Wow, that's amazing. Keep trying, keep trying. All that big. Oh, beautiful imagery. Wow. wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Incredible animal. Incredible flying. I just can't tell. Amazing. Taking some frame grabs there? Yeah. Arthropod. And then you can put isopod? If there's an isopod. Yeah. Straight down. So, yeah, y'all want to land where the waypoints are. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Yeah. And then we'll track up. I think so. Is that all right? Figure out. Land at the waypoint and then just yeah, go on the seafloor. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Victoria gets in here. No, that's in there. It's just up okay. Focus. Yeah. Come on. Come on. I have lost track. Okay. So I'm happy to do it. Okay. If you work here, no, you can definitely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, I have to get a photo of you. <laughs> Uh, the control room costumes are amazing. All right, should see the seafloor 100 meters. Mm -hmm. This one is the isopod. I wonder if that other one was. Well, no, same. Yeah, right? I think they're different. Well, it's true. I think the other one might have been an amphipod. And this one's the isopod. Amphipods are compressed laterally, so, and isopods are, are compressed ventrally, ventral, ventral dorsally. Yeah. So not the not that plane, but okay. this either squish this way or squish yeah. this way. And I feel like the first one was probably an amphipod. <laughs> no, it's fine. Yeah, you paid extra for it. This one is the isopod. Not personally, but. So these cores, that? which were very odd. Or that thing I pointed to before. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then the That's pretty good. Should be, should be somewhere. And then here, 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 here. Uh, more to the more likely the first one. Listen to what they're talking about. Do you not take them? Listen to what they're talking about. Do you not take them? 
folks like something. So, yeah. Are we wanting to just kind of start, say, over in here and then just come across? Is that kind of the idea? Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. Both were, I suppose. Makes sense. Yep. Have you been? You got, you got the idea where you're going? Oh, you're There's no trim or anything. We could drape the okay. drape the photo mosaic too. John, would yeah. it help to drape the photo mosaic on top of the bathymetry? Just no, let's not do that until we yeah. have the offset down. Well, you're because trying to figure out the offset. The, yeah. the, the bathymetry has been offset. Yeah. The mosaic yeah. But that's why you don't, and yeah, you wouldn't we'll use that to this. solve yeah. the Until offset. Until we know the offset, then we'll confuse us. But you don't think the, the, um, the photo mosaic helps? No, because we don't. Yeah, I mean, we, can, we can't register to it because we don't know where it is. Of course. 25 off. We, have to, register, like can we have to register to a map, and then we can register the photo mosaic mentally. Mentally to the map, I see. Yeah. yeah. I have Dave's got to do the I have both here, yeah. so if I can match. You can flip back and forth. Yeah. Great. So do yours line up? Uh line two maps. Yeah. Or yes. So we're kinda of, we'll yeah. find out soon enough. Yeah. We're about ten meters from the sea floor bend. Okay. Here you are. Okay, that's the dive plan. There you go. Um, we're like five meters off the bottom. Okay. And they're trying to figure out the offset currently. There is one though. Serge, I can also do sample log and do other notes. Yeah, I can do it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Sea floor, I don't remember a depression necessarily, but it, right. it was topographic. So, John, do we have the, um, the image that has our overlays of samples last time? So, you know right on, on bottom at 1602. Yeah. Um, we found some plants. All right. This is actually pretty strong. Yeah, it's just, it's just in front of my. Show me in the. Oh, I see it. Yeah. White balance salts in the kitchen. Do you see right here? There might be a chimney right there. It was. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, for the bits and better than the geotip. Thank you.
Right. So we're going to start by um, flying around a little bit and see if we can get oriented. Okay. Let's head up to that small chimney. I think you see it five meters away. Yeah. Yeah. You can also see it in the sound area. Yeah. It has the same qualitative. There were some two worms and anemones out here, and they were all low lying like that. Yeah. Pretty dense. Uh, I don't know. Xenotrevelin land. That's on the seafloor. Is that flush? I think that's flush. Or is that sticking up? No, it's sticking up. Oh, I see, I see it. That is it. I think that is it. That could be it. I see the It looks the exact same that's shape. That's great. Oh! That's the dive target. No kidding. All right. That's what we were going for. That was what we were going for. That's the coordinates. It's amazing. Uh, nav works. Yeah. <laughs> it actually looks less active. The chimney itself. Yeah, we should. Um, so let's, let's, yeah. Let's get a little closer and we can try to get some images shivering, though, quite a bit. This is a hot air. Oh, this is it. Yeah. How cool. Worked out. Okay, yeah, just point out where you want to look at. Okay, I want to, I want to take a, an image of this first, but we, we also, if we can get low to get some contact yeah, shots of the, the surrounding area. Um, Greg was thinking of fly around for 3D reconstruction. Yeah, is that something you can do, Ben? Like yeah. Do a little, just to maintain speed and go circumnavigate. Yeah. Cool. And then once we're it's less uh, less active than it was. The area is still really active, but the chimney is. See yeah, what it used to look like. It's a little less active, but it's definitely radiating. Yeah. Did you see the isobacteria maybe? Was it eggs? So we're here a little bit um, southwest of uh, Z Bend. It's, it seems so and this is a site that we sampled pretty extensively in 2018 and found that uh, there was visible signs of, of oil in the cores and really, really high temperatures uh, pretty close to the seabed. So we're interested in collecting some samples from this, this area and this lovely chimney feature is uh, was easy to, to spot so we're using this sort of as a way to, to uh, help locate where we were previously from 2018 and it's looking pretty similar to our images right now so we're pretty confident we're in the right spot so we do a little fly around yep okay. And this is about the right size feature. We can create these really nice 3D models. So we're going to use this ROV to fly around it in a circle in a couple of different directions and over the top. And computer software is so good these days that we can use this to, to create a 3D reconstruction of, of this feature. I think it's grayish blue, yeah. There's at least four different colors now. Insectoid, right. we'll try to post some pictures of it from last time. It'll probably take us a, a day or two to, to get those loaded up, but I'd be happy to show you what we had last time and the sample we collected that we called the bunny. It had two little small spires that were sticking up like ears. We got it to the ship, it was totally loaded with oil. Really fun sample, off gassing. Oh, is this the bunny? But the bunny's missing now. We took the 
So on this uh, 2021 cruise, we didn't have the uh, the imaging uh, mapping sled on the ROV, so we, we did not create the same kind of photo mosaics that we did in, in 2018. But the hope is uh, when we come back in April with the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute, we'll be able to potentially uh, collect additional high resolution photo mosaics of um, not only parts of the Alco field that we missed, but also uh, going to the Yakmat Yag site uh, to get some, some images of that environment as well. But these, these photo mosaics really are incredibly um, valuable tools for us to, to be able to put our discrete samples into context. You know, there's, there's very limited numbers of, of samples we can take on the seafloor. We're basically doing little straw pokes in the ground um, to try to understand the, the microbiology and the geochemistry. And so the hope is by having a, a map of, of the full extent of these seafloor features, we can uh, try to extrapolate out to uh, larger uh, volumes of the, the seabed and try to better understand the, the underlying geochemistry that's going on and the distribution of microorganisms. Can you also write that we're doing? Okay. Uh, you got it. Okay. Z suggests putting the chimney uh, the funnel down over flow at the base, at the base early. Now? Um, so it can flush, and then do it. we're going to do other things here. Okay. Um, but is this the, do we yeah. see flow so, here? Uh, well, we, no, we want to wait till you find a good chimney area. Yeah. yeah. What's yeah. happening but with the... Before you start right, doing right. some corn, yep. that'll give it time to flow. Okay, process. perfect. All right, so we want to do a little fly through and it would be great to stay low and steady because it's possible we might be able to create like a pseudo photo mosaic. Just one direction? Or yeah, in one direction, maybe mow the lawn a little bit. Where, um, you know, now basically look at the location of the quarries relative to this. Yeah, so. Heading north? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, north, north from the chimney is, is good. North from the chimney should take us across these mats. Uh, the soil is. The spot. Yeah, the, the super hot samples were these. So we see there's a crust. Yeah. Yeah. The shelf. Uh, I'm going to pull up the actual mosaic. Yeah. Yeah. So where do we think? Crust is going to be hard to. There's just an illusion that there's a crust. Oh, no, it's not going to. Because here's this white patch. Okay. So, so that took a perfect time. Uh, I'm wondering where the chimney was at. That's that right here? Uh, no. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So this could be this, this feature that we're looking at right now. Do you see this, uh, this cut in there? That could be this ledge. I remember at one point, I think it was 2015, we thought it was microbial pad, and it seemed like we called it ash. Is that the liquid fine sediment? Is it just, it's kind of coarse. It just okay, we can keep, keep heading north. I bet this, this area up here, potentially, this grayish mat off to the side. Yeah, that's this patch in here. So the grayish mat is what we cored with the um, dive 196. Yep. And we were going to try to maybe do something over. Where's the early spot? Okay, so that's still back behind us. Yeah, this is our two left This is the black ground. Okay. So we want to keep going north a little bit. Yep. Just to fly over. Um, the oily mats last time. I seem to remember there might have been. A, there was at least shimmering water. Yeah. Oh, there definitely was shimmering See, water because that's. Do we need that's it over an actual chimney, or can we put it over a shimmering spot on the seabed? Yeah, okay. You want the, those sides of sea level to So the oil yeah, mat is shimmering. Oil mat site would be a good one if it's yeah, the same. Because yeah. That's the thing that, yeah, that's the hot one. Yeah. Is this uh, not the oil mat site? This is well. This is the chimney. The edge of the oil mat the edge, side. Yeah, yeah. They're so the, the chimney is here. Yeah. And then the um, hot spot Got where it. we melted the core yeah. and collected the pearl vanilla. Yes. And yeah. the coke pods. Yeah. And, yeah. Which way just a little east? Uh, yeah. A little, a little, little bit east and a little bit north. A little bit west. Uh, west, west. Yeah. West, yeah. Yeah. west. West and north. From where we are now, no. From Back where? Behind from us, the chimney. Right? From, from the chimney, yeah, yeah. Right. So from behind the, us. From the target. Yeah. Yeah, look for subtracts. Yeah. Look for what? Subtracts. From 2018? Yeah. Do you think they'll still be here? I don't know, but... Yeah. So, Victoria, on the right-hand screen from the pilot's, on the pilot's nav screens... Yeah. The underlay there is Dave's five-centimeter metrometry. Okay, yeah, I see. Uh, and so you can see we're headed right up towards yeah. this exactly. feature yeah. now. See yep. the table spot there? Yeah. Yep. Yep. So we're coming up on the on the bottom of Sea Mount now. Okay. Or the beginning of the tailless blocks that run into. Yep. yep. And then once we get into the talus, we'll turn around and go south, like a little bit bumped over to the west. Yeah. And go draw, do a line back. Yeah. Okay, so it looks to me like this block. Yeah. Hmm? Okay, and this is the one that's about two meters ahead of the south. Because you've got that there. Uh huh. Is it this guy? Z? Yeah. Yeah. South and just over a little bit so we can get like a enough of an overlap in the image, but to extend the okay. clip. Off to the left as we're facing now, but right if we're going south. To the west, I said? Oh, to the west, yeah. yeah. <laughs> to the left. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But I think you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have a sense of how far that distance was that we just traveled from? The yeah. No, just the distance of the line that we just flew. Oh, I heard her say we're going to head south. So. We're going to head south again. Yeah. Uh, roughly 20? 20, 20 meters. Yeah. So we did a 20 meter line. Yeah. 
Or it's alley. 20 alley. meters north of the tail block. So oh. Turn around. So we'll come like west a little Bumping over a little to the west and then bend it 20 meters back. That should put us closer to or on the oil we map. Where like we're at here. That's how it does. So we're doing a little. All right, so we're heading south now. So, um, and there's the chimney up ahead. Yeah, and actually, Greg said um, this. Um, there's a chimney. See it in the distance? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's almost like this. How do you feel about your iris? Not great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, see if I can. I can't tell if I'm actually doing anything here. If we're just. Or we're just getting out of there. Yeah. It's. So maybe I've got it. Control. This is a point. I don't think I have control. Hi, Carl. I think I might have lost. Um, it's right now. No. Yeah. I can't tell because we're moving, so I don't know if we're going into the shadow and it's changing. Yes. It's uh, climbing up. Exactly. Yeah. I don't see anything. Me to hit got there. I got it. You want to keep heading south? Okay. We, we're past. Yeah, we yeah, can turn past. turn back around. Sorry. Distracted with the. Uh... You want to head oh, north again? Right yes, there. please. Yeah. Right, yeah, we don't need to look at the Yeah, got it. So basically, so this this is the key. Okay. Uh, yeah, text image. Yeah. What's our heading? So the OSS. Oh, uh, We're gonna head north patch. again. Yep. I think you can tell from the shape of the chimney. Um, yeah. Okay. So we'll keep that. So we're gonna head back towards the chimney again.
So we're, are we looking north? We don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, we're yeah, yeah. looking north right now. But in yeah. our whole thing, so just when we get close to the um, to that chimney again, we're going to orient based on where the Oasisia tube catches. Yes, we want we basically want to be looking like this. Thank you. <laughs> that was technically the sub called Sebastian. <laughs> the great thing about that. Yeah. <laughs> Happy Halloween, Chris. Happy Halloween. I'm going to wear a mask, but it's terribly uncomfortable for like two hours. Uh, I think J Rod did it for you all. Yeah. For hours. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. It's been so hot. It's a lot of shape. When we get up, we're going to want to go to the east. I think that back to that chimney structure we started at. Gray mat, blue fluffy. So PC3 was a blue fluffy mat. Or we melted the core. PC1 was a gray mat. And then there was another one, PC5 over. Those must be the circles that you did for the 3D. Because you want to be basically within that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here is the three of them. There's two of them. One of them. And you can see going in, but the same is right there. The question is, we don't really know the heading, but, but uh, there's money. So you can, we'll be able to tell just from the shape of the chimney. You can get right back to that. You can also, I mean, I think you'll, you'll be able to see it really clearly. Yeah. This is pretty, I think you'll be able to, Yeah, we're gonna do just, it. Well, you'll be able to mimic it exactly. Yeah. And then did you see that there were three cores taken? That was the one that melted? So there was another one here, and that one's in blue fluffy mat, mm -hmm. gray mat, and then yeah. there was another one in the, over the copepods. Uh-huh. In the white, the white mat. Hey, yeah, it said orange, orange crust. Where's okay. John? Hmm? What's that? He's asking where John went. I was asking where he wants me to keep traversing. Yeah, yeah, I want you to go back to the um, chimney that we were chimney. just at. Yeah. That one. No, 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 the little one that we started at, that little spire that we flew around in a circle. Is that snowman to me? What's that? It's snowman. Well, no, no, not snowman, oh, no, sorry. No, 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 it's called bunny. <laughs> but it's right but at the waypoint. Exactly right. where we landed. It's right at the waypoint yeah. for today. Where you did the loop-de-loop, -loop, we did a 3D, we were trying to do a 3D reconstruction around the structure. So basically, if you go to the where that... Right here. So the circle is. Yes. There it is. Right below us. So, yeah. so we want to. Yeah. Um, okay. I want to get on the other side of that one. Yep. We want to. Did you see the picture of what we're aiming for? Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. So then we want to set up, there's a little bush of oasisia tubes at the base of the structure, and we want that to be on the left. So we feel like we were you we were taking the floors on the other side because yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 so we're going around just a, that was sort of just assessment I agree. oh and that's probably our old footprint right yeah, there yeah no, that's a sled mark I think that's where we sat maybe it's an odd rectangle yeah oh for sure that would that would actually match the image exactly. So we may want to sit on your old footprint. We'll see. Are you going to put down the funnel, though, or no? Yeah, if we can... You want to sit right in front of it. Oh. I w we want to line up exactly where how we were last time, so... So, right here? No. No. See your sled mark? You, right? I think that that's your sled mark there, that little square... To the right? To the right. No, that was me, like that. Because I was turning around it earlier. No, no, you, you, that, that that's, that's like on the seafloor. I think that's a slab. You think that's a slab? Yeah, I can see slab edges. I think it is, though. Okay. It may be where you were, but there's a slab there. Right, yeah. Okay, so let me, let's just see. So actually, I see the two worms in the corner here. So if you are facing that direction, that's what we want is them on the left. Right. So I think we want to we want to tilt, turn this way and look at it like that. So looking at that, it looks like it's, the ground is falling off to the yeah. left. So it would be right here, yeah. Yeah. Because what if it's the ground? Yeah. 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 Yep. And we want to try to land as gently as possible. Well, not, we don't want to land yet, but when we do, just not to disturb the mats. Um, what are we doing here? We're going to core, but I, we need to find the right spot. So if you turn left and back up a little bit, I think we'll, we're probably going to want to be coring in this, I suspect, in this mat area. See that? Yes. I'm gonna take the uh, punch cords out later. Mm -hmm. um, can you, uh, get, it's not gonna hit the arm. Actually, this this could be that could be this. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Because there's a line that runs through it. Yep. These gas bags really get in the way of the photos. I'm not that. Yeah, I see. <laughs> okay. Ready? Yeah. So back, back, back up a little bit. Back to the left a little. Yeah. So maybe back, back to the left. Yeah, it's just under the gas bag. Yeah, so not in the rectangle. Yeah. See if you're right with that. You want to be on this side, John? Or we do want to be on this side, but I think we might want to orient so don't sit yet. But get low, lower. Yeah, so that's this whole thing here. Yep. So I think if we're if we turn this direction a little bit, we'll be that's looking at Gotcha. And you have enough on different types of mats here. A little bit more? Yeah, a little bit more. I think Sort of area. That's the same area. That's looking good. 
I see the slope off to the side here. <laughs> okay. True. So now we'll try to get low. Last time there was some shimmering flow coming out. You got a shot of that, Anna? Not yet. I was okay. waiting until we. Are we pretty yep. settled on landing here? Yeah. Okay. Can I can I use the camera to yeah, pull up a little bit? Okay. Got it. Hold on. Uh, trying to. Okay. Okay. Got it. So um. Chris, I don't know, do you, how do you feel about the white balance? I know they already did it, but... I can do it again. Uh, we just need to focus on something as white as possible with the arm out. Yeah. But yeah. probably the mass would work. Just whenever we set down, maybe? Yep. Um, feels a little green still. Can we yeah. Sit down? Uh, yes. Gently. But in with the mats. So we want the mats all on the porch in the front. Or maybe if we get, yeah. So it's going to be a little bit further back. So that's that. That's that orangey stuff I see right there. Yeah, yeah. So the question is, can you reach it? Is that where we cord in in that no, orange? No, no we cord but into these the are qualitatively left. Different. Yeah. Same kinds of mats. So it's a little bit more. further back. They move slightly. Okay. Yeah. Where are you going to pour? So do you see this orangey stuff? Is that on the side yeah. of the front of the mound? We're going to pour over here. So. I mean, that could be your sled mark right that there. That could be the sled mark. The do you think that this could be our sled yeah. from before? Yeah, maybe. No, because no, we're at a different orientation. So, it's kind of hard for me to base at this point where you want to pour. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Just tell me where you want to pour. Alright. I think, I think we'll, we can try to pour in this, this area. So like if we can get the gray and the white. What, what were, where were we? Blue. There was a crust. There was an orangish crust. So yeah, yeah, the gray, the white, and the orange is here, and the blue would we have to bump up after that. We don't need that. We, we mostly want the highest, the high temperature. Oh, cool. Okay. So I think. So what do you think about, about here? Yeah, the little John. River, the little back here. This river. could be good. Yeah. I think that looks great. Okay. Let's. No, I think you're stuck on this here because you've got this orange. Let's try it. it. This is gonna be hot, hot, hot. Yeah. Park. Okay. Are we down? No flow? Well, I see some here. Do you see it? Look where? Oh, maybe that's us. To the right. You're going to pour. I was thinking the same thing. So yeah. What's that? Much less active than yeah. three yeah. years ago. It's got the tribal stuff. There's a funnel. It's yeah. right there. Uh, yeah. So let's, you see let's some? wait on the funnel. It'll be. See oh, true let's see. Yeah. Like, yeah, what about up there? Yeah, that could be up there. We'll have to move. Let's just look. Let's do the first. Yeah. See if we see any shimmering water. Well, even the tube worms look uh, Sad, yeah. abandoned. <laughs> yeah, they like hit the road. Yeah, there's not a single plume out. Yeah, I'm not seeing any good. any flow out of this. The anemones are still fine. <laughs> Facultative symbiosis. This is the way to go. Okay, I've played with the iris a little, so. It's <laughs> 
Your actually, it could be, now that I think about it, this might actually be a good sample. You want anemones later okay. because of that. Like maybe they have different isotopes because they've had to start starving. Still fire. Alright, first thing first. Alright, so we're gonna um, we can while I'm looking around, we could get the uh, temperature probe out. So that'll be our That was an awesome landing bin. Yeah, it was really good. So good. Can we, uh, can I borrow the camera for a You can. Oh, I see some shimmering in the back there. Do you see that? Up in the corner? Right there? Yeah. We can't reach that, though. We'd have to... Oh, 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 oh. Your, your, um... Do you care, I'm sorry, do you care about what's right in front of us? Because I got bulldozed the orange crust there. Oh, well, it's okay, we'll do okay. it. Okay. I got right no here. other. I'll try it right here. So you have no reason. So there is a place so we can put it out. Area. Area. See what we could do is um, if we bump up and put the tunnel down, then we could take some more temperature from the tunnel for us. And yeah. And then wait. Yeah. yeah. How long do you think it would take to? I, I would like a good 20 minutes. Okay. But you know, if it's there longer, you, you can get some precipitates on the inside, like yeah. your palette or your precipitation. Yeah. So the longer it's there, the better. You it doesn't matter for me after about 15, 20 minutes, okay. but for you it might be better longer. Well, but then we'd have to come back and get it. Uh, well, we just do it live. We do it when you're there. Put it out when you're through corn, and we try and do the sampling and put it back in the back. Yeah, I yeah. didn't. I don't want to pick up because I'm more worried about bumping the mats. No, 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 no. Yeah, do yeah. everything here first. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah. 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 Okay, but we can but we can put it down and then we go for it elsewhere and then come back and get it. Right around the area. Okay. All there. right. So Dave Chris had mm -hmm. some thoughts about three yep. episodes of the day. I I asked Carl about that all I can yeah. think. Okay, cool. So what's your where is the area you well we'll we'll see how we learn. How's the um, white balance for you? I can't, um, no, I don't feel like I've got it anymore. It's blown out in the background. Yeah, white balance would be lovely. And also, I feel like I've lost the uh, iris again. Yeah. I'm going to put it in the auto iris and auto. Um, okay. I saw what I give the white balance. So I really like that. Hmm? 
Yeah. Those so much like they, they are like spikes or something. They're, um, they're it's, so straight. They're uh, they are I mean? filaments. I think they're they're still sulfur. Wow. They're sulfur oxidizers. Yeah. Hmm. They're on the straight and narrow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, are these copepods? What are these guys? Where are you looking? They're from the little zippers. The little zippers. These guys. That's a thing, and these three things. Oh. And they are were they like amphipods? jumping. They look like amphipods. They move. There's a little trio of them right there. We'll watch them. We'll, we'll slurp later, yeah. Yep. They have camera control. I got camera control? Great. You have all three mats there, the blue, the orange, and the white. Yeah, let me, uh, and maybe even the gray. Get some nice shots of yeah, this. Amazing. What's the You got it? Can we also get the lasers on? Just uh, in participant data, it says photos. It's a photos for live stream. Okay. Great. Uh, I got it, Victoria. Okay. I was going to get one with, um, Lasers too. Can you do that? So you have the laser marks. Lasers are 10 centimeters apart for those watching. Okay, so. So, Chris, you ready to do some poking? Sure, what would you like to poke? <laughs> Let's. Have you done a Let's try the um, the white mat, kind of near behind the scale worm. Can you do that? Okay. Seem good to you? So, Shauna, let's get this yep. shot too. We're gonna. Um, what do you want? We're gonna take a take a contact shot here. No, sure. Uh, One point eight. Yeah. Yeah, there's incredibly struck five centimeters. Five centimeters? Uh, five 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 centimeters. Five centimeters start. Yep. All right, so our ambient temperature here is somewhere between 1.8 and 2, and now we're going to start. Oh, we are not going to be going very far. Let's let's leave it for a sec. So we're less than five centimeters in. It's at 12, 13, 14. Yeah, it's wild, isn't it? 15. 16, 17, 17.6, 17.7, 17.9, 18, 18. All right, let's let's call it 18. Okay. So let's let's pull out since it's hard, and maybe let's try in the gray, just right below. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
cauterized everything. Yeah, but well, just you know, yeah. just refracted yeah. elsewhere. Yeah. That's why it's not so as effective. Yeah. Right yeah. Find the, the so it's so it seems like it's harder, shallower than it was. And right? can we, Chris? Yeah. Can you do up in the upper? Yeah, I guess you can do it low. Let's see. You can do it right here. Yeah. Because if it's soft yeah. enough, we want to put a push cord in maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I think we should. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we're trying the gray. Yeah. See how that goes. No, that's all I got right there. Also hard. Eight point five, eight nine, ten. It's going up fast though. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. I don't know that I've ever seen that. Yeah, they Oh, we, we see that a lot, actually, yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. So they really ex they have they have exquisite um, uh, sort of sensing of not only other organisms in the mat, but also the chemical gradient. Yeah. They'll, okay. they'll do complete yeah. loop-de-loops and... <laughs> yeah. It's going to be a little response to the oxygen yeah. and oxygen. Yeah. I think it's maybe it's 16. It's been about uh, 17, yeah, 16. 17. 17. 17. Okay, pull up. Thank you, Chris. Okay, just just for giggles, can we um, can we try a little bit off to the left and just see if it's softer. <laughs> um, to the left, maybe like try it over here. Can you reach that? Just want to see if there's any... Yeah, if you can't reach it, that's fine. However far you can't reach. That's right. It's definitely about a lot of reach right now. Right here? <laughs> yeah, that's great. That's right. I can go further if you like, but wherever you want. Yeah. Is there um, any... Yeah, try to go a little further if you can. Just We're trying to figure out if there's some soft areas that we can pour. Yep, perfect. How is that? Still hard? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so 10, 12, 13, 14, 14. We lost our yeah, 13, 14. It was about 14. Yeah. All right, so let's let's pull out and then maybe hey, we need to move. I think we need to move. Yeah. Um, so let's. I, we did see some shimmering right. flow. Yeah. Up. Stand up. Yeah. I mean that's definitely the juicier area, but it was. But we I need mean, to there figure is out. Shimmering glow by the right hand chimney. Oh yeah. Yeah, see? I see, see it. it. Yeah, right yeah, exactly. there. Yeah, right yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's right definitely there. Coming out so of that's there. that's where we want to put the funnel down then. Uh huh. So can we can we reorient to try to? Mm -hmm. um, we want to put the funnel over over the, maybe this diffuse flow here. Okay. Is it all right for me to park over there? Um, yes. Over there. Yeah. So, yeah. so we want to, if if possible, we'll put the funnel down and we'll see if this is more pourable. Yeah. Up here. Fingers crossed. Yeah, it looks real crusty. Looks crusty to you. 
Matt ball. So Z, do you think it's better to get this kind of stuff on the this ponding over here? Yeah. Yeah. See, there's there's real hard crush right there. Yeah. It's kind of fluffy out here. Yeah. Um, that looks a little crusty up there. Yeah. But I'm wondering, so if we put the funnel there, do you think this, this is a possibility or on the other side of that? Yeah. But I don't see anything very horrible on it. Yeah. I do see some shimmer over here, too. Yeah. No, there's good flow right there. And there's good flow here. So which one should we... Sh where is this one coming from? I see that wagging material map. Coming out of the spray. In that back look mat this, here. Look at this one. I know, but yeah. we're trying to figure out where if we can but put one down where we can pour. Place. That's mm. my, my concern. I see. So, I see yeah, we, we could put so, it down on either one of those, or we could go look for a place to pour and just hold it and put it down when you get there. Yeah. Um, so, it depends on how close you want the sample, water sample to where you're going to pour. I mean, it would be nice to get it close to where we're going to pour. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Let's wait. Let's find a place where you can pour. But I think, yeah, if I mean, you, this is, either that of those be, will, will do for a place to water sand. But that might be This is a little better. benign huh? in terms of it's a little flatter and easier to get the, get the thing settled in the sediment. That's, this is a little bumpier, so that looks pretty good. So let's, let's see. Do you see this shimmering flow here? Let's try to set up, and then we'll see if we can sample in this microbial mat near that. No, not too many places to park over there. Can you come in and? Yeah. From you know we can try. Yeah. But yeah. I. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's that's so weird. It's not him, it's me. Like when I take a photo, so I lost my. Problem with that, you told you it's tilted like that. Yeah. So it'll be hard to core. And then we're going to park it like this. The ROB's trying to stay low. Uh, yeah. It's going to be so hard <laughs> over there. Okay. It's, that's why we park it like this. Yeah. On Is it easier if we lateral over there? Oh, this one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah down there. Um, this area, you know, I could park it out touching the uh, mat. Yeah, then I was wondering, maybe we could tr we could try to see if this if this is corable. I'm not sure, but we could we'll do the same sort of thing with the temperature probe, and then if we can orient ourselves so that we could potentially put the funnel over that, then we'll try it. That one seems to be flowing pretty good, right? So. Yeah, they really do look like a radiator. Yeah. So a lot of the main features we're seeing now uh, are consistent with what's on our photo mosaic and the topography from 2018, including some of the uh, blocks of um, presumably calcite that's, uh, or other types of crust on the seafloor. The basic shape of those cracks and the orientation is, is similar to what we saw previously. So what I can do as well is, uh, I want to make sure we can, yeah. Um, I could try gently land on top of it. Yeah, yeah we don't want to land on the mat though, because we want to try to sample the mat if we can. So what would be better is to maybe, yeah. You see my, uh, this camera over here? I oh yeah. Put my por my, uh, porch at the edge of that. Yeah. yeah, that would work. 
Yeah, as long as there's space for the porch to push out. Okay, let me porch out. Yeah, thanks, Ben. He got his bio badge long ago, decades ago. ago. I saw yeah. that. It, it's hanging in my office. Is it? Oh, it's amazing. It absolutely is. <laughs> wow, that was a long time ago. We've been sailing together for over two decades. I know. Yeah. I've been sailing for over well, four. I yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is frightening. <laughs> Okay, temperature pro, please. Um, there. Yeah, I have quite a few. Give me on chips, but I might be doing a Oh, yeah, you're going to save a lot more money. I'll put the lasers on it. So, how how much real estate can you read to the push for, assuming that this is coreable? Can you. Like can you. Can you reach? Yeah. I can make it. You see where the. Uh, on this one over here? You see how far out the. Uh, the arm is yeah. yeah I can go past that so. oh great okay all right so let's let's try um, doing a temperature poking so over the, here the, yeah uh, look at all that lasers. mat coming out of that the vent just past the lasers. yeah right. you see all the flock coming out of there yeah yeah that's, that's a great place yeah that's a cooked anemone. That is a sad anemone. Barbecued. Oh my gosh, it's tiny. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
sad. Okay, let's not bend the probe. <laughs> um, can you just do a quick poke by the scale worm? Not on the scale worm, but um, to the left, to the left, yeah. Yeah. You think it's oh, you think it's, it's just the kind of, ledge? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's just the, the edge. So. Yeah. So is that going to be hard for the funnel, or are we? No, that, that, that'll be fine. That's a good place. Okay. We'll put it out and then go look yeah. for something. Come back to it later. Yeah. Also so hard. You want to measure here? Yeah, we'll do it really quick. Twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17.7, 18, Nineteen point six, nineteen point five, nineteen point five, nineteen point six, nineteen point eight, nineteen point eight, nineteen point eight. Over here, twenty, nineteen point nine. Twenty. Okay. Nineteen point nine. Nineteen point nine. Twenty. Victoria, okay. do you see that sad anemone floating around? Yeah. Do you want me to take a picture of it? All right. We can pull it. Yeah. I see it. Unbelievable. Cooked. Wow. That's how I feel. What? <laughs> it's too early in the cruise, That's Steve. A bad day. Had a bad day. Okay, thanks. That's wild. Yeah. Yeah, we're holding steady at 20.1. Okay, we can pull out. Okay, so. Alright, so we're going to use the funnel and try to place it over this fluid flow and then we're going to leave it. In the back? Hmm? The one that the was pointing at right now? Yes. Yeah. Alright, um, I'll try to do the port arm, so I don't think this is the way we're going to use this again. Yep. Or... Yeah, we will use it again. Alright, I might be able to do the port. I'll spray this again. Do you want to get a, a temperature reading on that when we, afterwards? Yeah. yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll take the gas we tank and put the project. Mm -hmm. yes. So we're going to grab this metal 
funnel here, and we're interested in getting measurements of the um, gases that are associated with these hydrothermal fluids. And uh, so for, to do this, we need a specialized um, sampler that can maintain these, these gases and the, the fluids under the in-situ pressures and, uh, without off-gassing on, on the ascent. And so we have these samplers that are called gas-tight samplers for obvious reasons. Um, with these diffuse flow systems, though, we want to be able to try to focus that in a way that we can collect a, a pristine sample. So we're going to put this funnel over the diffuse flow that you see in the background, that shimmering water, and uh, we'll come back after a little bit of time, after it equilibrates, and then try to take the gas-tight sampler out of the top. <laughs> and it's decorated. I love it. <laughs> is this a trick? Or is this a treat? <laughs> Amazing. That is the best sampler ever. Happy Halloween. <laughs> That's so good. All right, our little funnel house. Pumpkins and all. Happy Halloween indeed. <laughs> yeah, we'll see if some scale worms move in. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> it's a mobile home. <laughs> 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 it just keeps getting better now. I have a ghost in the window. <laughs> Is it over the diff? Yeah. Well, I guess we want to see it coming out of the chimney, right? See? You see flow coming out the chimney? I think it's coming on the back side of it. I can't really reach back farther, so. 
Okay. There's wheat um, film coming out. We're not capturing all of them. Yeah. I see, I think it's going up the back. It's that, yeah. Bit, you know, it's burned a little bit. Yeah, I think we need to scoot it. Push it back. Alright, so I'm going to have to either move up or... Yep. Yeah, I need another. Yeah, I think we need to scoot it back. So close. Do you think it's wrong to have candy corn for breakfast? Gross to have candy corn at any time. I am. Well, it's 10 o'clock. So what about with the time change? <laughs> with the time change. Shiny. Candy corn is a vegetable. Candy corn is a vegetable. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's the hive mind. That's Candy corn count is a vegetable. <laughs> it is okay to eat for breakfast. Candy corn flakes. That's pretty good. Gross. <laughs> He was also going to go as ha for Halloween as Vampire Toothless. <laughs> <laughs> the less frightening Vampire Squid. Yeah. No, just the really yeah. old one. <laughs> <laughs> An aging Vampire Squid. <laughs> Now we're talking. Oh, it's you blowing. got it. The chimney is flowing. So, so I worked a lot in Iceland, wow. and they wow. use hot water heating on their houses, That's just right. like we do That's here right. on the seafloor. <laughs> Thermal charged. Cool. That's right. That's green, cool. green energy. <laughs> green energy. <laughs> All right. Can I just a tad, and I'll get okay. the context. Did you explain why we're doing this? All right. I did. Yep. All right, so we're going to let this equilibrate for a while. And uh, as you can see, we're getting some nice, good hydrothermal flow coming out of our chimney, our Halloween house. And uh, we'll be able to use the gas tight sampler to get a, hopefully a really pristine sample of the fluid chemistry and the types of, of gases. We know there's a lot of methane and um, higher hydrocarbons that are um, in these fluids from previous measurements. And so um, I'm curious in comparing these more diffuse flow environments to the um, more vigorous venting structures like Z-Vent that we saw yesterday. <laughs> All right. This is going to be the one with hydrocarbon. So, Chris, can you reach that pink or that orange or peachy mat over here? With the temperature probe, or is that outside of the. Yeah, maybe we can find a site where we can test that. That would be great. Yeah. Do you think it's worth trying to get a five centimeter? extra core.
this from here. Yeah. If it'll stay in. Yeah. The sure. Polycarbonate's only like uh, 20 max. You okay. Sorry. Sorry. Um, yep. Yep. So there are no gas hydrates here uh, because, as uh, Connor thinks, uh, that it's a little warm. So gas hydrates. Okay, perfect. So nine. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 C, 20, 21 C, 22, Twenty-two point seven. Four point three, four point five, four point three, four point six, point five, six. Let's go with um, twenty four point five. Okay. In the peach mat. Yeah. Anybody got it? Two hundred dollars for our camp. We're having trouble. Two reasons. There's no iron. It's the heat. Can you leave free? All right, I could I could give you um, my answer about the hydrates, but I we have Dr. Z here who can <laughs> tell you more from the geologic perspective. Hold on a second. So yes, it is indeed too hot here for gas hydrates. We have to be cold, but in fact, even in the cold areas, we don't see gas hydrates here. And the reason is to form gas hydrate, you need free methane gas. It has to be reach saturation for methane bubbles. Methane solubility is a strong function of pressure, and because we're at 3,500, 3,600 meters. Um, we don't reach methane saturation, so we don't see methane gas plumes here because of the high pressure. Thank you, Dr. Z. Dr. Z is looking a little like a mad scientist for Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, could you punch mm -hmm. through with the aluminum, or do you still don't have enough force? Hmm? I doubt okay. it. Yeah. <coughs> no, we could easy. we could try one of the if, aluminum ones to really you, crank on it. If you punch through, will that um, disturb the flow and ruin this uh, measurement? Yes. yes. Maybe. So, but yeah. we can get a little bit. Yeah. But we have to come back anyway. So. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm wondering. Do we? Do we come back? We'll yeah. Come back. If you still have it when you come back, then. You yeah, okay. If you wanna um if you need something in between, yeah, go ahead. All right, so we'll let's let's pick up then. Unless you wanna So we could well it depends. We we wanna slurp, but we should do it after you pour later. Well if you slurp on this side then we could still pour over. We here. could also slurp um, how much bacterial mat is near bunny? Um there's some. Yeah, we could slurp here because I also want to crack off some anemones from the inactive buddy. Okay, I mean, there's a ton of anemones back there. They look more active. Huh? Bunny is inactive. 
these like the, like they might be more active also to do. Or do you oh, you want the inact you want around the inactive yeah, chimney. Yeah. Okay, got it, got it. Um, so let's I go. Let's go over there. So rather than there. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Okay. So if okay. you want to set up over there, we can do that real quick. All right. So we're gonna head back over to the chimney structure, okay. bunny, and we're gonna try to slurp some anemones. No. Well, we're gonna slurp some mat, and I think can mat I crack and... off. I'm not gonna slurp anemones. Are you? Oh, are if you, you crack it off, we'll take the. Are rock. you cool with taking part of the chimney? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, just any of these cool little animals. We really haven't seen um, copepods or paravanella yet. No. So it's, no. Uh, but those little amphipods were interesting. Little bacterial tumbleweed. <laughs> it is cruising. Yeah. Yep. This guy's heater on. It's cool. Yeah. 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 So that bacterial oh, flock you see floating around, we uh, sort of have a colloquial name called snowblowers, and that is uh, mostly sulfur oxidizing bacteria, typically, and maybe some uh, polysulfides or, or elemental sulfur that form these these big um, sort of clumps or mats, and uh, we think that this is. Uh, thick biomass that forms in the fissures deep below the sediment that gets uh, sort of liberated with this invective fluid flow and released towards the surface. So these little focused fluid um, vents uh, give us access to potentially deeper microbial life that's uh, hard to access uh, without having a, a big drill ship. So we, we yes. take advantage of these hydrothermal expressions um, to give us some insight into life deep underground. Hmm? Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Yep. We're gonna we're gonna move back over to the chimney. Okay. The little chimney. Little tiny guy. The, uh, yeah, that little spire. Yeah. Leave the house here? We're leaving the house. Okay. We'll come back to the house. The house. Now, artwork has met with rave reviews, though. What's that? So, that, telling Adam that artwork has met with rave reviews. It's, oh, did, did, it's did, so did, did, great. Did, could you see the pumpkins? Yeah, we yes. saw the pumpkins so, originally, yeah. That thing out of the way. Victoria, I'm hmm? telling oh. John this. Are we going to do any proposal? Uh, I think that no, we're going to do locally yeah. generated. Yeah. Hot floors come up in these shallow sediments. That's so right. That's cooking. I'm betting that won't be much of a Yeah, and then set up down. on the other side of it. And so we're going to try to sample, um, slurp some bacterial mat so this side of it doesn't have a lot okay. of mat. And, we, and then we're also going to try to crack off a top of yeah, that inactive chimney, right that little, the right. tallest right. one there. I don't think we, you know, I think it's very low. I don't think so. We just, yeah. That makes sense because, you know, when we took those two floors, one had really orange oils, so it's almost like carotenoids that were cooking. And then the other one had darker oil droplets. So, yeah, I think it. I mean, if you've got 200 degrees. Yeah, I think we probably seal this off, cooked everything out. Yeah. So, just an idea. We can try so, to test it out. yeah, so if you see something that looks like well, it could be. Well, you know, the place is going to be where you want to core. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's that same white fluffy mat, Carol and all So, yeah, if we so can find it. Right. It almost like looks like the white mat or the uh, base mat. Um, yeah, we're kind of interested in all of it because we're going to slurp all the animals that live in and amongst the different kinds. Yeah. You could sit in the gray mat. If you yeah, if you yeah. lateral, well, just, just I just want to make sure it's not hot. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's what I recommended, Victoria. Mm. But um, can you tell if any of that's shimmering? I also agree that lateraling and facing it. Yeah. So let's just take a peek for any shimmering. Does it look? It looks pretty. Mm. I guess we could. Uh, we've got the. Uh, yeah. I'm sure it looks well, we've been we've been analyzing the it's sediment. A, and we've we found nothing yeah, over at 20. five at five centimeters. It's um, twenty. Okay. Yeah. So, so really, it really so is okay. should be so okay. So from like this direction and a little closer. Yeah. Keep coming a little bit over this way. I'm thinking we might sample the base where those anemones are. 
Okay. So you might want to be able to get him to reach it. Hmm? Just think the balloon is going to fall on the porch right now. Yeah. What are your plans for um, rocks at Pvent? More than two? Can we use a bio box for this instead of a quiver? Um, yeah. If you if so, are you gonna take a rock from the anemone so we can get the rock? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So then we'll get two rocks at. Um, okay. Yeah. So we could. So that would be perfect space because I wanted to sample one of these little spires. So we yeah. do one with that as an anemone. I mean, the quivers are great, but it actually is harder to yeah. process a rock with anemones if you have to reach it. Yeah. Can, I mean, you, you know, can see, look at that. It's just all one big plate. <laughs> it's not a big plate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So sad. <laughs> so I wonder. But at least you, you think we were out there. there. I know. I wonder if we so were further if out. If the plate has just been growing and now this. Yeah. Is yeah. We we could go out there. to that I would, area. That, that, try that. Would, that's a good. good Do you plan. see it in the photo mosaic? Guys can rent the Airbnb for ten scale worms. <laughs> Careful though, you saw what happened to the last tenant. Yeah, that's right. The anemone didn't <laughs> last yeah. long. I mean, Victoria, it definitely still happens around here because you had the hot, oily site north of Zeeban yesterday. Mm -hmm. in the so. Well, yeah, but now there's oil, heavy. visible oil. Probably. Oh, but it was really oily. Oh, yeah. But you want, you want yeah. oil. Oozing. Well, <laughs> yeah. well yeah, and it was 180, right. 200. Yeah. You were going for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was respectable. We, we could go back over there. Yeah, but it's just that the mat was so modest. Like, there was yeah. a lot more. They're trying to stow the temperature probe. Your, what's your cutoff for heading at the end? Um, yeah. okay. This is up here, you're looking down here. Mm -hmm. So this batch here. So this this is a second. You're you're looking where these are on here? Well so the so the pink the yes. triangles are slurps and the diamonds are rocks. So yes, we'll do that first. Um, positions aren't as accurate. Mm. The circles are the push cores and those are the ones that have been Got properly it. placed. Got it. So I'm ignoring and, those. Okay. Can you and, tell what jar we know that this, these yes, are our oily push samples. Yes. Yeah. And I'll just turn on. This is zoomed out more. Yeah. One and two have stuff in them. Oh. 
so it's right. here. Right. Uh, right. Exactly. That's where we poured last that's time. That's yeah. where we poured Perfect. last time, and where we are roughly sitting. Okay. Um, but that, yeah, that's basically where the chimney is. Yeah. So are we thinking like that? This is the mats we're sitting at this time. Yeah, it would have to be in sort of just from where we were sitting when we started the conversation. Oh, it would have been just it was 13 degrees. So sit down. Where are we facing now? Facing north. Do north. north. Do north. Right. Here, you want me to do this while you guys chat? Uh, although you want to do we need to, when we're doing the yeah, heading. Yeah, you can, you can slurp. And then break off a piece. Then break off a piece. Just, um, just show me where you want to slurp so I can land it like a position. Yeah. Um, I say we'd, we'd go all along in here. Also yeah. <laughs> yeah, did that, was that unhelpful? Yeah. No, no, it's perfect. I just yeah. if I was well, if you don't want to move a second time, we are going to collect this rock right here. Like, try to break off that ledge. Well, I'll land here first and let him slip it up. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> we probably want to take some close up videos also. Behind us. First. We are, yeah, south is behind. And can you, Chris, can you reach the chimney slurping from here? Okay. Let me just... Are you down? Almost. Almost, okay. I was just going to look around real quick. I like your mask, Victoria. Okay, that's all yours. Thank you. The fireworms. Oh. A snuggle of fireworms. Wow. There's more and more and more of them. So we're also... Okay. You want me to pan out? Try. Here I go. No. Go ahead. No. There's, a nice, there's a nice fracture for you. You can see now, if you look down, there's yeah, yeah. a nice fracture. Okay, I'll go over there. Okay. Okay. Beauty shots. Uh huh. Yeah. Leave you. Leave it there for a sec. Yeah. I'm just gonna explore for a sec. Yeah. Clam shell. That's actually a living clam. Where's my fracture here? Oh, it's coming up. Is this, is this flow now or no? Just the, no, is just, that the just, thrusters? It's just, well, they just jammed it in there, mm -hmm. so it's just disturbed. Yeah. Let's see if there was some of the amphipods. Is this bacterial mat or just broken it's up gray. calcite? That gray mat. So it is. Gray it is. Ashes. But it is microbial. Well, if you see see how I landed, mm -hmm. the whole thing kind of like oh, yeah, off, yeah, like there's yeah. yeah. like a piece of it. So I wonder if it's not harder than. Oh, look at these guys. Yeah. Um, John, go ahead. Yeah. And take a picture of this. Yeah. What about this thing? Yeah. What is that? This little spiky, spiky dude. Thing in the middle. Uh, that's as zoomed in as I can be. Yeah, what is that? Okay, let me just refer reference. That is okay under that clam. Uh, not yet. Let's just uh, we'll keep looking around here. So.
There's several of them. They're alive, they're out. Different than yesterday's? No. Same. Yeah. Pylodrina yeah, light. Like. Mm -hmm. uh, you want that photo or that was yeah. disturbed though yeah so. like this is the crack yeah. see if you see the big carbonate slab yeah. that we yeah. so Greg this site is completely different and Z thinks that this carbonate cap was formed and now it's not as it's not the same that we measured in 2018 it changed all the plumbing. things what about oh no one of these guys Anything? Mm. They'd be small if they were. Yeah, what is it? Some a max worm? Apple coffer. Let me see what that is. Wait, and now we're where were the other ones? Oh, up there. There. That's the snails are there. Very tiny. Okay, here's undisturbed. Slightly different. But in the mat here. What are all these guys? This, the brown. There's another apicophron. Oh no, that's a oh, it's a too. It's bumpy though. What's this one? This is an apicophron. Uh huh. Little red mm -hmm. This is the little uh, the beauty shot. That's the big tail, the little cross arm. Beauty shot, John. Vitorniella. Probably get this. Yeah, the IG. So we have to. We still have to get our pushing Okay, okay, yeah, yep, yep. Yeah, no, that's usually what's. Uh, okay. Um, let me just see where we are here. Okay, let's go. We can just see one of those. That's great. And then, any more fireworms? So let me just go to the base of the structure. Just We're going to collect. We're going to try to collect this ledge, right, Greg, just for the inactive anemones. Mm -hmm. So you might want to, we'll get some things here, but oh, yeah. John, could you Is it take a dead, context huh? shot? Yeah. Tree worms died. Yeah, right? Abandoned. Totally inactive. Starved. And if the anemones have, are facultative, then we would expect. Mm -hmm. That one looks like it's still something in there. That too. Or, yeah, maybe maybe a few of them, like this one here, too. Is there anything in there? That one. Okay, these so are the how, usual so suspects. Let's think about what, what you're going to grab here. Yeah, you need, like, I agree. A knob that's I mean, I agree. Otherwise, uh -huh. you'll grab two worms, and that, yeah. um, well, that won't be as useful for, for you guys. You okay. You up a little bit. So, yeah, no. <clears throat> that little knob. The spire doesn't look like there's anybody on it, though, huh? Yeah, there's a bunch of anemones on it. Oh, okay. And them? If you want to grab some, some of those, I think so. Two worms too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So both of those. This seems doable. If okay. He can. Yeah, they can. And then, would you mind those on top of that no. in the same? Okay. All right. Okay. Let's do some suction sampling. In and amongst. We're on um, canister three. Okay. Canister three. Pointy? Yep, Okay. Uh, yeah, so under the clam. Well, actually, here. Oh, did you see something? So, all of these guys. Something like there. Including the little spiky guy. Yep, uh, right there. <laughs> exactly. So. Oh, what that is. 
trying to it could see. Be something like Nagra, Nagra oh yeah, so it's, it seems like it's right there. Yeah, above the crack. Seems like it's what? Not a pelter. It's a little oh, yeah, knobby, yeah, yeah. little knobby shell yep. flat. Yep. Which we have listed from here. We do. Okay. Do you see that brown clamshell? It's kind of south of that brown clamshell. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't think we want to move too much. So just kind of like everything? Um, yeah, all that, just... All that browner area? Uh, d down here. Do you see yeah. it? Just there's a whole bunch of snails yeah. on the surface. So you don't have to go too deep there. Just surface. Just surface slurping, like just a centimeter or so. If mo sideways is good, like that. It is a jiggly crust. Okay. Yeah. Let her rip. Nice. And then just kind of all along, like back, you'll just back up through this white stuff. Through this white stuff. Yep. Just keep coming that like that. Yeah, we're trying to figure out. Well, there's gray above it. Uh, sure. Oh, I see him, yeah. There's a little patch of him. Yeah. Right there. Yep. Um, just give him a little nudge. There we go. Okay. Um, and then we might want to shake it, hold an index. Let's just see here. Yeah. And then Greg more over here, do you yeah. think? In a different... different in a different chart? Mm-hmm. Okay. Where'd you know? Um, kind of right where you are, just underneath, but now in this sort of qualitatively different yeah. stuff. Okay, so I'm going to index with the sub chart three. Yep. One. Yep. Got the camera. Can I go in front? So, where was that apicophorin, Greg? Let's see. Let me see. It's tiny. You know what? That was... Yeah. John, can you throw me a pen? Okay. Sorry, I'm looking around now. Um, we're going to make a decision here. I think it's possible we already got it, but I don't yeah, know. Maybe. Okay. Um, yeah, you can just do where, right where you are. Same thing. Okay. Just in kind of different, different substrate. Okay. And then up on the. Uh, jiggle, jiggling up top, yeah, in there, up there, yeah. What's that? And to the just in front of you, inch forward a little bit. You know, is that a 
Anybody? Yeah, it's uh, still there. We go. Oh, there's that right there. I want it. Chris is taking over the science objectives. There's lots of anemones in there. They're different. They gotta be different. What do you think, Greg? Oh. I think. Keep going up. Keep going. Okay, up, up past the. pitting and stuff. Oh, we a lot of action in there. Okay. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Mm, it's juicy. You don't want any more fireworms, right? Not the fireworms. Yeah. yeah. So you can avoid the red worms. We don't need them. They spike, they spike things up. That's this nice sample. Yeah, that's good. Are you happy? Yes, please. All right. Okay. Feel like that's good? Yeah. Okay. All right. Right here? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So. We can stow it when it's in. So that was S3, buddy Matt. Yeah, there's quite a bit of matte material in there. So now we're on four. No, I just got that. So we're at four now. At it's empty. Four. Okay. So we can stow the. Yeah. Oh, sure. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Stowing. Right. Hey, John. Yeah. Is there a divider in one of these bio boxes? Yes. Which one? I believe it's, it's not drawn on our map. No, probably on the. It's the same as yesterday. It's on the left. Well, that's why. Yeah. The left. Three. Yeah, yeah. Three. Okay. Uh, Three. 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 Is that all right? Okay. Um, yeah, we might have to bump up because Victoria is thinking of getting one on the side. So do you see this this tall little thing? Uh, skinny little thing? Yeah. So we would grab that, put it in the bio box, and then grab this clump and put it on top of it. I suspect that's going to crunch. Crunch? I think the, knock it over and scoop it or something. I don't think that's going to hold together with this. With this. Like you guys can try that. I think we'll try it at the base, so maybe. The uh, so just for, you don't think that any of this map's hot if I go and land it? Correct. Okay. Let me look. I'm Z? You think any of this is too hot to sit on? No, no, no. I don't. Okay. All right. Good to go. You're basically looking at the back side of this structure Oh, funny. Yeah. I think if you grab your ledge first, that thing might just sort of break off, and then you can scoop it. Well. You think grab the tube worms oh, first? Hold on, hold on. Can you zoom in above that uh, anemone? See the copepods? I do. Hot. That looks hot. Where? Oh, oh yeah, it's all here. It. Oh, yeah. But that's not where you're going to sit, uh, uh, Adam. That's no, on the I'm, far side. No, no. I'm looking at it from a second. I mean, it's it's hot up there, too, but we already saw that. Remember, that's where that yeah. was the second location to put the house. Yeah. So that is much hotter, yeah, for I sure. Right in, yeah. Okay. Uh, that sounds yeah, good. Yeah. Yep. So when you had the choice of putting the house here or here, the here is, like is that. Yeah, it looks hard. But it's the right surface expression. Can we reach it from here? We no. have to go around. No, they have to. They have to but they can keep lateraling around. around. They have to They're going to head this way anyway. So, Z, let me just come back to you. So, you think if I grab I if you, this? If you grab that, 
like, and then, then that might off slide off. off. Okay. I think if you grab that tube itself, it's gonna, it's really thin and yeah, it's, yeah. it's gonna be crunchy. So, so you what know. are you thinking? So I I get China this? sample first, just hoping that'll fall off and you can scoop it. If it doesn't, then you go okay. in and try and get it. Okay. Yeah. So 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 Adam, it is too. hot up here. Yeah, it doesn't matter to me. I was we were thinking about it, um, because they had anemones on it, then she could have the sample. This right, but I thought you wanted here. the two. Yeah, I would like the rock. That's because yeah. like, yeah. he's gonna have to get in there with his scoop. Is it the question? Is is it hot here? Not very. No. No, I don't think so. No. Okay. But. It is. You can tell it's kind of yellowier. Yeah, it's that's yeah, yeah, but that's back there. No, I know, yeah. no. I'm just saying for your, if you want to sample up there. Yeah, we're gonna try. The house and the chimney. Can somebody grab that frame grab? To take a snap. Thank you, sir. Or actually, and just wait until the house comes in view behind Bunny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like that one. <laughs> if you pan a little bit, you can miss the skin. So what do you want me to do? No, oh, you okay. want me to go that yeah. way. That way. Yeah. Okay, Serge? There. Yeah. Okay. A little house on the hill. That was a good scene. So, I'm kind of thinking, you know, skirting along the, the edge of this hill, and looking for a place where fluid are being forced under the cross into new sediment. Yeah. And looking for a lot of clams in the sediment. So, skirt, skirt around that way on the way out, see if we can find something. Yeah. I mean, we could also, if you don't, if you're not successful at getting a rock here, uh huh. You know, depending on where we set up yeah. over here, we could try to grab some of these. Yes. I mean, I definitely think you could scoop it too. If you want to just Yeah, I just use didn't want to. I don't want to scoop it off the ground. But unless you're using the scoop already, yeah, I don't want to okay. pull the scoop yeah, out yeah, yeah, yeah. and then try to get okay. a separate rock. Okay. I'd rather yeah. go over set up for fluid okay. flow and grab Okay, sounds good. There. Right. You happy? All right, so let's try to grab the base first, and we're going to hope that this. Just a minute. Yeah. Well, we, we decided that that might crunch and, and be fragile. Ah, so if you could just grab like this group yeah. and we're hoping maybe that kind of comes with it or slides off so then we can pick it up. Yeah. Yeah. The bio box. I don't know what do you think. Yeah. Puffy white things. Anemones. Yeah. Pom poms. I mean, Victoria, we can do what you wanted to and grab the, the if what if we grabbed it by the base and just kind of snow cone Try it? it? Try it. I mean, there are enemies on it, right? So, so the problem is, what if this falls to the ground? Then how will you get it? Then we, I think we leave it. Unless scoop it. No, yeah. we don't want to. I think for time we want to avoid the scoop. Let's let's try the skinny thing first. Okay. At Probably the base. At the very base. So grab the clumps. No. Not the skinny thing. Oh, skinny thing at the base. And it's going to be fragile. Should we open a bio box first? Bio box. Or they just happen uh, on no, things? Yeah, so yeah, okay. He's going to hold it. Okay. Time. All right. All right. I'll just hold my breath. I'm going to follow him in there. Okay, go ahead. You got the head and crit down? Yep. Okay. Let's try the skinny thing. Oh, John's here. Okay. Yeah, like it looks like a kind of like a bone, right? Like just do this little knob down here and see if the whole thing comes with it. Like the fattest part of the skinny thing. I wonder if it'll come loose. Oh yeah. 
That's that's actually gonna. It's good. You loosened it. It's gonna. Yeah, it'll be, it'll come free. I think it's I think it's loose at the top. Yeah. 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 I think you'll get it. Uh, well, there's a bunch of these things. We didn't see Riftia here. No, didn't see I don't think it's. I'm sure, they're a good fake for one. Uh, no. almost, almost. And then maybe a little bit. Can you go down to the base of it just a little bit more? I think you might be able to get the whole thing if you just go down to the bottom. Yeah. You think it's some carbon? We're just, we think it's a little more think, fragile it's than, fragile. so you might break it in half. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh great. Holy uh, cow. It's like deep sea operation game. <laughs> Bread basket. Yeah. <laughs> Femur. You got the funny bone. Funny bone. That is some serious piloting skills. That is uh, amazing. Manipulation skills. Everyone should be impressed here. Okay, so this one is going into Any, one of the small, uh, yeah. the small dividers, so I think by box three. On the left, yeah. Okay. Either of It just it would be interesting to do QPCR also to see if the symbionts tail off mm -hmm. and then let's, mm -hmm. um, just show facultative. Yeah. Uh, we no. have nice nice images of how it was in yeah. 2018. Yeah. Off, so. Did you get me in? Right. Uh, either your either choice, one. whatever's easiest. Okay. Just lovely and amazing. Nice. Good job. Didn't even break me put it in there. Um, okay, <clears throat> we'll go, um, go grab a, just a little handful of those tubes. <laughs> but this time we're not putting them in a quiver. We learned, we learned our lesson from Adam, who did it. The two worms in general are your nemesis, Chris? We need this whole cluster, and we also just uh, you can grab a little handful of them, shake them a little bit, and put them on top of that rock in the bio box. Context photo. And we've got a bunch of them, but I'll follow you, or you want Adam to do it? Okay. Kind of like the peanut butter and chocolate thing. I don't want your worms on my rock. Oh, but, Victoria. You know. I know. Okay. 
Zoom in a touch. It's focusing on the arm. These won't be for physiology, so it's not essential to avoid them all altogether. So light touch. Probably a tangle of them will come free. I guess a little further to the base. Stay in there. So, taking an image. Uh huh. Now you are, and it's A one. Great. Okay. Perfect. Into the same box. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it will live another day. Uh oh, oh dear. Oh man. Yeah. No, no, no. This is. This will be good. You'll be good. This is fine. So this is a one. Okay. Get on in there. That's good. You can go ahead and close it. There are four on there. That's all we need. Thank you. Victoria's coming up. Perfect. to set up over by the house to uh, insert the gas type. So, yeah. Jimmy? Yeah. yeah, there's not, it's not very hot around there. So we were sitting, I think, facing. Yes. I was like, wait a minute. I, we were looking at a ghost, but I'm just on this side. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, if you get a photo. Uh, yeah. Hold, hold on. Uh, can we take the lasers off for a second for yeah. photo? Yeah. Okay. Ready? Got it. Okay. Yeah, if you want to acquire a gas type before I move, that's fine, or you can do it when we get there. Do it here. Which one do you prefer? Doesn't matter. You, your choice. Whatever is yeah. easiest for you. Yeah, um, let's do uh, the left one for us. It's the hardest one for us. So let's do the right one first. Gas type. Gas type. Yeah. Get that little 
over there. But that's some other fluid flow. Great spot of the buildup of yeah. the mat. Yeah. So the pilots are setting up right now to uh, grab one of the gas tight samplers. These are uh, specialized fluid flow samplers that take a discrete uh, amount of water and keeps it at the same pressure as the seafloor so we can get more accurate measurements of the um, gases and, and other chemicals that are in that hydrothermal fluid. So the plan now is to, uh, once we secure this gas sampler, we're going to try to insert it into the chimney of our little house in the background there and uh, hopefully collect a nice pristine sample of this uh, diffusive hydrothermal fluid. You have to measure it here. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty hard. It's hard. It's like five, yeah, five centimeters, 20, 
in these areas we want to make sure we're not going to put the sub down inadvertently on a really hot spot and fry the hydraulics so uh, it's good that we did a few temperature probe measurements before um, at this site so we feel pretty confident we can position ourselves nah, probably gonna pick, gonna just, just, one, one. just one Try the other bottle. Um, try to make sure you're fully retracted. Uh, I am. Um, yeah, that's all the way in. Uh, just, maybe I think I'm bent again. Just a little bit, or? No, it didn't fire. It's just the trigger slipped out a little bit somehow. Okay, we said it's fine. Just moved too long. No, okay, no more. No more. Is that a bent handle? Let's have a look at the handle. Um, I thought it was straight this morning. Yeah. yeah. Uh, maybe not. Oh, it's pretty straight, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, a little bit. Okay. I just, I just want to play with the right hand. Two arm trigger. If you, if that's easier. You can put it in and trigger with the other arm. You know the fact that we have it in the chimney. It's it's probably going to be fine. It's not like we're pushing it out. Exactly. It'll stay in there. That's so. what I'm thinking. And actually, the way that the nozzle is, I don't think we'd we have better success with that. Anyways, yeah. Because it'd be facing I, up. I think we could do two arm trigger if you want to do that. Sure. Mm -hmm. yeah, I I go ahead and put it in there. Yeah. yeah. So the only thing is like, like come up like this. Come around like that. If you come up like this, the trigger will be like this. As long as we can still see that. Yeah. See it, yeah, I know what you mean. All right, so we're taking estimates on what people think the temperature is going to be when we measure it coming out of the chimney. We put out this uh, funnel house about an hour ago, uh, so it's probably a little too quick to start to see precipitation. 
Well, we've left this here for a longer period of time. Uh, it's likely we would see precipitates starting to build up in there. And in fact, we we actually did put out some experiments in some of the other event sites, you know, uh, precisely to look at that, uh, try to capture some of the newly formed precipitates. Yeah, so yeah, I can be at the road to your wrist a little bit too. Um, I'll send you that. You'll be able to see it that way, though. We'll be able to see the, 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 what you call it? Yeah. I'll have to reach around. I think you got it now. I think you got it now. I mean, even if you have to pitch a little bit, like, where it's all. What's that? Were you talking to me? The nozzle? No, the full ranks. I think as long as we get it in there. Even if we push too hard, because these are pretty instantaneous. Yes. So yeah, that's right. You don't have to hold. Once it triggers, you can release immediately. So. Yeah. It's already starting to carbon up in there, hey? Yeah. Or maybe it's hot. See the color change? Hmm? And so the chimney's color. Oh, yeah. Size. It's getting dark. Yeah. That's yeah. probably from sulfide. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Got some Just chemical correct. soot in our chimney. Yep. Connor thinks it's going to be 170 degrees. Anyone else out there have a guess? 155. Dr. Z is going 155. Oh, some nice bacterial flock coming out of there. How's that? That's good. That's great. That's good. Thanks, it did. And you can see the trick. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> this is a very good idea. Snow-covered snow hillside. <laughs> oh. James is threading the needle. I would just drape it over the 167. Did you take yeah. a sample photo, John? How do you have okay. got a 168. Whoever right. wins gets the candy the corn. And a scale worm. I wanted the action shot of the trigger. Oh, yeah. That's a good point. Uh, I'm That's not that one. That's fine. Just like I wanted it. Yeah, the real key used to be lined up so you're moving parallel to the trigger and then nothing will move. Look good. Oh, Arbor's going out to two decimal places. 161.37. Um. So can I borrow your thing here? Thank you. Pokey? I wonder if you uh, did you bring the knees out to the side there and we'll just touch it this way so we keep your death <laughs> reference. And then you can come in and so you know, push back. back or or you but uh, yeah. I just, I'm trying to focus for them. It's not happening. Yeah, to the extent that you can go dead and turn along to that. I just want to move on. I'm pretty sorry. I'm going to go like that. That's good. Oh, 
Tries to focus on the shimmer in the background. Yeah, yeah. So let me just come up here. Give it something else to do. There we go. Let, let's give it another tap. All right. We got nothing to lose. Oh, you got it, Adam. Now you got the focus. Yeah, there's, there's nothing so, yeah, to lose by tricking her twice. So. I don't want to come back to the party with Jennifer. Oh yeah, definitely. Oh, that's going. That's good. That went in. Yeah. That trigger was still in. Perfect. All right. Yay. Yeah. And then a quick temperature measurement when you get the stove. Yep. Nice work. Yep. Do you want to grab your, uh, yeah. your barrel first? With that uh, measurement you just asked John for influence today's activities? I was just curious. Um, well, we're going to head we'll, we'll head back further anyways. Let me finish this and then put sink as well. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. I can get that. Yeah. I was just, I think I'd be, because you also want to now take push cords. Look at all of that stuff. Adjusted um, to the house. Yeah. Huh? You want to take push cords in and around the house, right? Cause I want to take, try to get a, a short, it's going to be a really short core. And <laughs> yeah. But I'm going to try. Um, I'm also thinking covering a miskin over so there's a lot of flock coming out of the chimney. Oh, before you pick it up, yeah. That's a good idea. And then are you interested in just sampling the, the high temp side of money too? Or no? No, no that's not a We're going to okay. go to a place where we can actually get some. Yeah. Not the haunted house. Yeah, oh, oh, that was a, oh, bullet. What is that? <laughs> Somebody needs a chimney cleaner. It's not, it's not that a lot of a, bacteria. Yeah. That, wow. That is something. That came shooting out of there. No, it's because we jiggled the seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can I zoom in on that? Or are you? Yeah, 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 we're just going to wrap it up. Yeah, 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 no yeah, problem. Yeah, no problem. Lots of microbial biomass that's uh, deeper in these fissures that gets liberated in these high fl fluid flow areas. And you can see that manifests as these uh, white flocculent material that keeps getting released out of the chimney as we move things around. Um, it's a lot harder to get it out than to get it in. <laughs> No, does it matter if you move it right, Victoria? No. Oh, yeah. yeah. The temperature is, yeah. It's still flowing. It's still, it's still going. Nice. It's going to be a great sample. Uh, I can wrap yeah. here. You want to look at the uh, trigger before I put it away? Yeah, you can see the two. No, we're good. Yeah, 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 we're good. Um, for like a hot second, yeah. I should be sober in my high power. 
to the oily mats is five meters mm -hmm. at 293. Just when we were coming in, that's kind of what Or that carbon may plate form, but there was some of that feature. It may have grown anymore, but there was some of that that's still in that map from 2018. Oh, interesting. You can, the only problem is because the nozzle sticks down. But I think as long as you get the bungee over, it should be fine. Yeah, try it. That's the best way it sits. It's straight down like a big one.
know the not the uh, entire thing. I want to get around it. I try to think if I go over it, I'm like, I think if you go right over that trigger, then I'll just get a walk right in there. I mean,
jangan lama Is that dirt super soft? We just jam it in the dirt and regrip it? Dirt is nice and soft now. Okay, let's set it down and regrip it. Um, Will it go point? I doubt it. What if you drag it across the corn quivers and let it. It'll get a little hot. Yeah. Oh, yeah, get a cough and enough food enough. Oh, look at you. That's why you are oh. a scientist. Who's, who said that? <laughs> yeah. That was amazing. Good idea. <laughs> All right. All right. So, I think Sometimes I'm going to have to read the rest of the book. Sometimes backseat driving comes in handy. Right. Sometimes. Because I'm going to have to fortune over it. Pretty with the wind. <laughs> 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 okay. 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 You're all good. There's a spot over there. Do you see on yeah, that corner? I see that. So just don't land on that. You know, I'm just going to come over in this direction. So as long as there's nothing over there, yep. it should be right. Yep. There's not a shimmer from. Yeah, so there's like this ledge. So there's fluid, focus fluid flow kind of. Okay. So as long as you don't, you don't get past that, you'll be okay. Are you happy with the health position? Yeah. Yeah. Head into the chimney. Do your Santa Claus thing. <laughs> I know it's Halloween, but it's like Christmas to me when I get a sample like this. <laughs> lost sight of all of the guesstimates for the temperature probe breeding. We've got those recorded somewhere in here. We had 170 maybe as the upper limit and I think Dr. Z and 150 is the go? lower. Get it all in there. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Not very hot. Twelve. Eleven point nine. Twelve. It's the haunted house. Remember, remember we had the 7 degrees. Oh yeah, that was, that was shimmering. Yeah, yeah. Any slight 6 to 9 degree yeah. 
Yeah. Or it could also be, you know, some light. Yeah. Right, right, right. I'm going this call for all. I think all right. that's it. Right. All right, we were so far off. We were off by an order of magnitude. So 12 degrees C. No candy corn for any of us. So before you put the probe away, Chris, we're going to try to do another temperature measurement in the sediment and see if we can. Where would you like to measure? Just to the right of that. You have. Can you reach to the right in that mat? Like somewhere in here. And we also, if if it's good, we'll. I mean, we'll, we're going to try to take a core anyway. So as long as there's enough real estate. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Can you? Yeah, we'll do it here, but Check we might too. want to also pop it in the vent. Yeah. Not very yeah, we're going to try to measure in there too. That's five centimeters. Okay, so that's consistent. Okay, let's just, uh, yeah, seven, eight. I expect 100. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I think most of the criteria we don't like. You know. I think 11. most point we took was 360. Yeah. Remember that? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so let's pull out and then try to stick it in that um, hot vent that you see. Oh, maybe hot yeah. vent? Yeah. Right so it's shimmering water, water. Yeah. yeah. Let's see how well that works. Just, see, just, just to the shimmering. left there? Yeah. yeah. Just pop it right in that. Uh, yeah, you got lots. Uh, sorry, I was trying to give you more real estate, but the porch is yeah. You got lots. Going up faster now. Twelve, eleven, ten. Oh, it's going down. Eight. You gotta be getting some Dead seawater stop. mixing. Yeah. All right, that's probably good. We got we got twelve-ish for that. 
Try to take a a score, even if it's short, in this uh, in the peachy map. Plastic, please. Do we know what? I don't want to do the sulfide one though, so which one is that? Sulfide for number two. Okay. So just avoid number two. Okay, I'll just grab another. Any other ones are fine. Yep. And then number five is also aluminum. I'm sorry, or, I mean a sulfide. Pen. Was it two and six that had the film time? Uh, Do you remember? It was two and something. It was six for sure. Okay, it was okay. two for sure. So six is the aluminum one on the front. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so it's two and six that have the film. So we'll do six. Not one, not one. I'm using the plastic one, so I'm going to use the quarter. Uh, oh, do you want to rack this guy first? Are, you gonna just, are we going to use this again next time, or are we going to? We'll use it again, yeah. Let's just, can. just hold it again. Yeah. Yeah. I'll put it away. Okay, we're, we're going to torch in the. Want the top five, yeah. five centimeters? Yeah, it's just a little shorty. Unless it happens. Unless to you through punch across. through it, yeah. <laughs> I'll be a little bit more aggressive with this because it's not nearly as expensive to break this than breaking the uh, yes. pro. Yeah, go for it. Our boss punched the deal. <laughs> Did you see the one we cracked last time? So like our yeah. yeah. All right, so which one am I avoiding? That's good right Not two. So, no, no, you have to use two. You That's could two. do three or one.
this. <laughs> Done. Okay. In this uh, mat out in front here. Let's see. Okay. Off to the. Okay, so that little pink work? Yes. Make a nice sample. But the piece are not gonna yeah. be enough to. You don't think it's enough to hold it? Seal. Yeah, we'll try it. Well, but one way to find out. We'll see. Bring it down, push up. <laughs> Push! Push! Okay. That's. You got that. Alright. Nope. Got nothing. Yep. No. <laughs> I don't know if this helps, I guess, because you, you want the core makeup, but we could come across it this way, but that's the same as slip. Yeah. Basically. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's. Um, that's okay. That's pretty hard in there. Yeah, it was worth a shot. Can you leave it dangling? We're gonna go core somewhere else, so. Yeah. And then is it possible to grab our house with the court arm? Uh, we'll have to wrap the court. the house. <laughs> Just hold the hose and we'll fly with it. If I put it anywhere else, we don't No, nope, we're done with it. Yeah. Okay. All right, here, porch out. Some staining. Go back before we go. We gotta rotate to the pumpkins. Pumpkins. Ghost, ghost. That's annoying. Ghost, pumpkins. It's on this side. Oh, and the door. We didn't get to see that. Yeah. <laughs> you wanna tilt it up so we can see inside the house? It's a very minimalist design. It's open concept. Yeah. It's an open open floor plan. Yeah, I can't really get it. With any oh, that. okay. If you come, we'll we'll, re we'll uh, report back. If you come like this, that's, I can wrap, I'm wrapping yeah, it's away okay. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah, just just put it away. Yeah. Are very artistic at it. Uh, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> All right. Do you want to grab the corn over here? What's that? Because huh? we're going to be coring next, right? We're going to be coring next. I wonder yeah. if we just grab it now while we're. It out. Temperature probe. One. We're going to temperature right. probe first and then core, so it sure. depends on... Yeah, we'll on. just grab it just for... Uh, he's, he's okay. here. I think I will. Quick and easy.
here and couldn't do anything. Put some stuff in there. Get up tight. Those right there. So we're gonna break out of the house as well. We're not going to core here. We're going to fly. So if you want to pick it up, yeah, no, yeah we'll just fly? pick it up okay. because we're here. Right. And, uh, so we need to just save you guys time later. Yeah, why is this? Um, not sure. Side. We're going to go back behind, behind where we are now. Let's see. Well, well, we'll we'll take a look at it and see if we can find a good spot. Yeah. <laughs> right now we're on that kind of crusty ledge, so yeah. see if we can find a softer landing spot. Very close to where we are now, so we're just going to try to see if we can okay. find. Yeah, basically, I took up and took off and straight. Yeah. Uh, we went straight back. Yeah, straight east. Um, maybe I can can I zoom in and see yeah. if we can find. So it'd be nice if there was some evidence of shimmering sure. flow. I'll, I'll so come down here so we get a better picture. There's a bunch of clams over there. Yeah. A little possibly crusty. Yeah. Turn the virus down. And the virus cut out? Yeah. Operate it again? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, great, thanks. Don't see any shimmering there. No. So usually like these localized spots where you have a really bright white mat is where we're seeing 
Oh yeah. Okay, that's a that's a candidate. Let's see There's a nice couple one. more coming up here as well. Scale worm on a half shell. So that should be another feature we should be able to see on the photo yeah. mosaic. Uh, that yes, other? actually, J Rob, is it possible to put the uh, five centimeter underlay back on your right hand screen, or do you need those gauges? So, uh, again, if you want to take the high jump robot for a second, and then I'll take them back. Yeah, you got that overlay on the high jump robot. Yeah. Another little chimlet over here. Are you seeing one you like, or? Uh... I'm. St we're still surveying, so you can keep keep. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll just come across and I'll come up. I've seen around. some in the back yeah. left up there too. Yeah, we were basically coming up from the area Onto the we were talus. yesterday. Yeah. But you can see the feature. This guy here. Oh yeah. Okay, so we're up against the talus yeah. blocks at the edge of the event now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and I think we did see this um, the mat crawling up the side of the. Yeah. Yeah. So we're up against this. Is, we're at this block. Yeah. There's a nice white mound in the upper right there too. Right there. Uh, oh yeah. Check it out. I don't. Uh, yeah, I think that's probably not core. Like this area is probably not coreable. Okay. Um, so that's so that's just uh, right here. What's up? The water's off the right. Yeah, they get some I, I'm, I'm uh, willing to be uh, corrected if you guys think that that looks possible. It's also this spot in the gray. Yeah, yeah probably down these gullies where the sediment's a little deeper. So yeah. There's like this area here, there's a spot up in the gray. Yeah. That's up close to uh they were coming. There's another little see that one's venting. Yeah. I think everywhere we we're seeing is bright white spots. Yeah. Possible this could be a good one here. Yeah, I see. That's a, that's a great one. 
That's a great one because again, yeah, that has the expressions that we're yeah. looking for. It's the white fluffy mat, active venting, going into gray. The gray. Yeah. yeah. I like that one. Not a lot of coke pots, but looks no. good to us. What do you think about this for yeah. corability? Uh, I'm, just gonna do on a, I'm just not sure where you're looking there. Oh. Just white so what we, we would want to try to core in the white and then in the gray. Yeah, we'll just have to back up a little or, bit make sure our landing stuff is yeah. clear. Of yeah, if you land in the on the brown, I don't know if that's down yeah, slope. Yeah, I think it's sloped down, so yeah, just, yeah. just double check it real quick before you come yeah. down over yeah. there. Yeah. That looks like you, Rebecca? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're too kind to ask. Because uh, once we're sitting there, we just skip it. By the time it diffuses, it's on. Okay. We're going to go temperature first. Temperature first. Where was it before? The, um, the shimmering part is right here, but if you land, yeah, we're going to want to core and take temperature measurements in the gray and in the light. And possibly peach if we reach there. These are our 198 push cores, these yep. are the 196 push cores, okay. and okay. it's up in the peach. Alright, so, so I give this another area. Yeah. Great. So let me, um, so Rebecca, let's get a nice shot of this first. Yeah, I'll try to get this out of your way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Got it. Can we um, put the lasers on yes. for just a sec? Okay, you got it? Got it. Okay. And we'll give you... All right, ready, ready. So let's um, just kind of follow along here. Let's start with one in the gray, if we can. One in the gray. The gray area. So like uh, maybe out here. Yeah. Sort of where the left laser is. Yeah. Lasers are moving through the camera yet. No, sorry, I'm just going to record so you can watch. That was over here, right? Yeah, in an area that's not, um, that looks less disturbed. Yeah, that's, that's good. Yeah. Uh, you ready for me to start going in? Yep. 
do it. Hard. Oh, did you want to go down front? I thought you just wanted to. Oh, um, to the five five centimeter mark to start with. Yes, sir. Yeah. Is it easier for you to put it in somewhere else in terms of that? No, no, no. Oh. Just, we, uh, I have frozen the arm. Oh, I see. Drop back, sorry. I, I think the arm is a little bit just kind of Yeah, maybe we want to put it in a different. If it's pulled, yeah. if it increased the size of the hole, maybe we want to put it in a new hole. Yeah, yeah. a little bit. Yeah, thanks. I think Sean is Yeah. Yeah. I'll be right back. Okay. Let's go Yeah, no problem. Well, temperature's going up. <laughs> Thirteen. Seems like it's soft sediment there. So, uh, that's a good sign. So, what's that? Do you want one? Or you have one? Yeah, just another spot in the gray is fine. That's five centimeters right there. Okay, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 
Go with twenty six point one. Okay. Can you push it in any further? Yep. Oh, great. Okay. Apparently, the soup's good for her. Oh, good. Did you get anything? I didn't. No, but it'll be there. I think it's always there. Okay. Okay. So there's a couple of easy questions while you're pushing it if you want. 40, 41, this is you, for you, 43, 44, 45, okay, so, well, um, yeah, they're getting a little feedback, and I can sort of hear an echo in here. I'm not sure why that is. Um, we'll check that out. So we called this area the oily map because when we were here in 2018, uh, there was a little bit of hydrocarbon. Um, it's not nearly as active as it was then, and the crust that keeps us from um, coring has gotten thicker. So clearly the, the area has changed a little bit. And so... Uh, we are just at the base of the, the Z mound again, and um, the, hopefully we'll get a quarter two we can compare to what we saw in 2018, but these these areas are constantly changing, so it was very hot flow through the sediment. That was what was making the organic, mold, or organic matter break down to oil, but it also started to lithify or make the sediment into rock, and that's why we can't core here. So. These areas are quite dynamic. Um, those of you who are watching earlier might have seen the fish that came up to the, the little chimney and then sort of got a whiff of that hydrothermal fluid and then sort of floated off sideways. Well, we know why that fish in particular uh, didn't know better than to come and sniff that. Most fish would, but that fish did not spend enough time in school. <laughs> Okay, that was a bad joke, but I'm reading the chats. You guys deserve some punishment because you've been dishing it out. Science, uh, 
Seventy-two, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six. Getting warmer. Seven. 78, 79, 80, 80 80.6, 80.9, 81, Six eighty two two point two eighty two. Let's go with eighty two point two. Right, and go again. Let's just kind of point out that you can see the dissolution of the so Yeah. The idea that we're both a council yeah. carbonate composition that we've said that before. Yeah. yeah. I know somebody was asking about that earlier. Yeah. 86. 87. 88. One point four, one point six, one point eight, one point seven, and one point eight. 92. Let's just call it, let's call it a 92. Pretty close. All right. So here's a question for you. Um, I would love to take the core. Is it possible to leave the probe in and take your core with the port arm, or do you need to pull the probe out to do that? Yeah, because then it won't disturb, and it seems like you've hit a little sweet spot in terms of sediment. Do so you want a core in this exact spot? Um, right next to it, if we can, yeah. Hundred point five, 
7.8. This is definitely not a marinating core. This is kind of an in and out. <laughs> Enough? Yeah, if it'll work, yeah, go for it. 101.5. And this is kind of an in and out because we might warp the core. 101, 102. Oil. Oil's coming oil out. Get some oil. Winner, winner, winner. Oh, finally! Oh, Exciting! Okay. Alright, 103. Wow, wow, wow. And you can see the crust coming up. Yeah. Oh. oh, wow, look at that. That is a good top. one. Yeah. Oh, that's, that is oily. That's going to yeah. be a stinky one. Yeah. 105. Fantastic. Awesome. Oh, that's so great. Oil coming up. Finally. 105, 106. So are we still five meters from money, or we're, we're, you said we're between the two? Yeah. We're five sites? Sure you will be yeah. <clears throat> All right. So. film on it, so that's number six. It's in the milk crate. Can you? Okay, yep. Hmm? Z is suggesting putting the funnel over our flow here. Oh, yeah, we do that. The gas tight. Okay. Yeah. Perhaps while we yeah. do the rest of the push course. Okay. You want to so, do that first? So, yeah, before, so before we. Over what? Yeah. Um, can you reach it? Just tell me where. Um, over the little vent, which is right yes, there. Yes, I can reach that. Okay. Good. All right, I'm going to poke up. All 
right. House is coming out. It's not a bird house. Is it a clam house? <laughs> Scale worm. Hmm. All right, the mobile home is coming out. I don't want to hang out in here, so I'm going to be in the library um, whenever you need a break. Greg is happy to come in and slip some on it. Yeah, so I think whenever I'll, you're done. Yep. Yeah, so we'll just be right there. We're watching. We'll do some slipping. I'll, I'll, here, I'll so. make an announcement. Yeah. And, but in, the, and there's a there's some floor. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you you wanna you wanna go eat real quick and have you do this part? No, because we're just putting it out and taking photos. Yeah. yeah, right on that. Just hopefully not. Don't capture the anemone in there, because that would be a sad thing to do. To it. Cut um, that little sucker. Yeah. A haunted house. Oh God. Oh. I'm not saying it on my film. Oh. I Z, think you Z, just did. You, you, you just, just did. did. <laughs> we heard, everybody heard you. That's right. Your brother. Oh, scale worm, trick or treat. Such a fall. Alright, let's see if we Is get any glow. Yep, it's happening. Yeah. Let's something. Ah, come on. Come on. You can do it. It's gotta fill the house. Little puffer. <laughs> it always takes a little to get the stove going. <laughs> it's coming up here. It'll be in the front. Yeah, yeah. just look around the base. Yeah, we missed it. Yeah, it's sneaking out the base, but. I don't know. I don't see much going on. I don't see a flicker on the base. Around the base no, so I think it'll fill it. I think we're on it. Yeah. It's just slow. It's not as gushing as the other. It comes. Okay, you can take the shimmer. Something's coming. Turn the Irish yeah. out a little bit? Yep. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's look at it. Waves coming out. A little chimney. You got, the, you got a good draft. All right. Cool, thanks. Fantastic. Okay, so now back to core number six. <laughs> Aluminum. Aluminum with foil on it. With uh, six, oh, sulfate. Six, not five, correct? That's correct. Yeah, I can see. We can see it. All right. Somewhere in the gray. Well. You need to be able to see the film when it comes um, out. It, 
Yeah, it's okay. We can kind of, if we tilt it a little like this, we'll be able to see enough yeah, we of it. This camera so am I, where am I going? Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, I can see it there. Um, let's go see if we can go in between or behind. Let me see. Let's try to go somewhere in there. Somewhere right there? Yeah, do it. This one's marinating, correct? That one's marinating. Our house is turning black. <laughs> oh, anywhere in there, if it'll go. Oh, there's a crust. Uh, look at all that oil. So it's that light, it's that orangey, light orange oil. orangey it's oil. Good. Yeah, this is very similar to what we saw. Yeah, that's very great. Yeah. Okay. Number six. And then. And then we can get another aluminum. Actually, yeah, let's. Number five? We can do number five, and we'll try in the white mat. Yeah. Okay, the so left of the house, if you can, left in the, the in the white. Am I marinating it, or is it coming up? Um, it can come out, but we, we might want to try to do a temperature probe reading. So I don't know if you want to go back with it. Yeah, so leave it, leave it in. Wow, this thing is getting really tarnished. Yeah. <laughs> The chimney? chimney? Yes. Uh huh. Fantastic. Look at that, and the, the shape of the oil droplets is different. They're more pancaked. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Now let's get the temperature probe. Unfortunately. And the chimney? Uh, you can leave the chimney for a moment. We're going to. No, we're going to do, the, sorry, we're going to do temperature probes in the white mat doing those gradient five centimeter increments. You can see 
see the all the oil coming out of the top of the pour vent too. At on five, you see it? Okay, ten, twelve, sixteen, twenty, twenty two, twenty five, twenty seven, twenty nine. 30, 32, 34, 35, 40, uh, steep, 41, 42, 45, 46, Seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, Shimmering coming out of our. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I see it. Yep. Fifty one. Another five. Already at fifty at five centimeters in the center. All right, sixty-nine, seventy, seventy-five, seventy-eight. Look at the oil coming out. Right. You did make a vent. Eighty. We should note that too. Yeah. Eighty. Eighty-one. Wow. So you gotta do is you just poke the gas tank in the hole. That's right. Guaranteed, no sort. 84. <laughs> Still not near the 200. Yeah, it was. Yeah, no, it was. Well, it was probably fifteen centimeters. Oh, wow. Yeah.
Go with 90.4. Okay, let's go another five. We can. Do 99.6 and then go another five, please. Four. Four point four. Four point four. Let's call it one oh four point four. Okay. Go another five, please. One oh 
Go with 108.4. Do you have another five in there? Or you uh, yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Right. Perfect. 14. Could we do the same thing and leave it in and get one more push core? We can try. Uh, or are you holding? One? Hmm? What, a plastic one? Um, uh, yeah, yeah, we could do we could do a plastic one if we went oh, in. Oh, yeah, whatever you want. Yeah, because yeah, I need to use other arms on that one. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Yep. Push, push core, so plastic or metal? Um, if you can do the metals, it's. 101 and 102. All right. So you want, Rebecca, or do you want to see them? Do you want to see the core? Oh, that is. It might warp. It might warp. Well, actually, it's not so, so bad. So we pulled it out right away. If it's really only one fifteen, yeah, goes in our house. Okay, so let's let's try a plastic, but we want to you know put it in and not linger. <laughs> try not to warp it. No <laughs> linger. And um, number two has, yeah, we we can try number two. Yeah, even though we're not lingering. Yeah. We're not going to take it anymore. Okay, yes, yeah. you may as well then. Yeah. This is the last, yeah. So go with two or yep. go with three? Number two is good. In the white mat, if we can find a spot that's perhaps 
Krishna. Perhaps back here. Okay. I think. Like right where that shadow is, or just closer to five? Closer to five. I don't know if you. Yeah, this is kind of disturbed. So. I can let's, go in there, but yeah, it's very disturbed. Yeah, let's let's go back here, closer to five. Right about here? Yeah. Right here? So it looks more gray. Yeah. Very nice. Able to tell from the context picture. Yeah. Better. Also, nice oil drops yeah. coming out. Beauty. The temperature, Rebecca, now is uh, 116.6. All right, so there's so many things. So now we should um, <laughs> let's let's pull out the um, well. So do you, do you want to do the gas type then the temperature, or since we have the temperature probe in hand, should we do that first and then? If you have a touch probe, if you got anything else to do here, I'd rather wait for a little more. If you got other things to do, I will do it right now. Um, you can slurp. We could we could take some more temperature probe measurements. Oh yeah, we were gonna slurp. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Slurp. Okay. So let's let's recover our cores. High temp probe is good to come out. High temp probe is good to come out, but we get that guy. No, not I that I saw. Okay. Yeah. We also want to grab that crust. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Are we becoming pre predictable? <laughs> All right, so possibly might need the temperature probe again. Do you want we take will the temperature of the chimney? We do, uh, I but later. After we sample, but we're, we're going to slurp before we sample. Yep, and we also so. want to grab this piece of crust that's yep. yep. going to dislodge there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I'll just put it in the ground. Good. We can get a good ground. They like temperature. Great. Get a like get that. a reading. I like that too. <laughs> Perfect. Kind of in the whitish map. Multitasking. Yeah. Mm. Alright, so six first, five first, doesn't matter. Either one. Right, Pilot's so choice. Six went to the back or no five went to the back. Right? No. Five is front. Okay, I'll get six first. Okay. Three-week flow out of the chimney. You said we flow? Barely, I can't even see it. No, we just let it in. We take it, but we're disrupted so much that it's, it's, 
It's on the side. Yeah. Oh yeah, great. Maybe I'll take a picture of my camera. Yeah. Okay, got it. All right, so nice staining on there for my insole flies. See the oil smeared on it. Any of the file boxes. Okay. 
Uh, that was... Yeah, yeah, probably. We could try this, the scoop if that's easier. Can you bring the fortune? Just bring the camera? Yep. Where's it going? In the bio box? In the bio box, yeah. E either one. There's, there is something, I think, in one of the, um, the leftmost compartment of by box three, but everything else is open. Oh, fuck. Got a long one. Huh? It's so fluffy. It doesn't seem like it's fluffy when I'm going through it. No. <laughs> How about the scoop? Try it. Right here. Any of them is good. Yeah, it's a reasonable. We'd like like a intact piece with the white right on top. Yeah, we can. Yeah. Which one? Box three. 
Put it in the. There is something in the most the leftmost left one. Yep. Yeah, the right one's open. Did you get a shot of it, Rebecca? Uh, yeah, I got it. Yeah, great. We don't need the sediment. <laughs> we prefer not to have the sediment. <laughs> Thank you. Never thought you'd hear those words out of my mouth. Don't prefer need the sediment. We prefer not to have the sediment. What? <laughs> Fortunate. That was great. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to um, turn it over to Team Slurp. I'm going to get Greg or maybe he'll hear me. Calling all worm doctors. <laughs> but we can maybe get the slurp ready for him. Oh, you didn't get your house yet. Are we still no, we're gonna get the house. Yeah, get the house last. Yeah, make a mess. That's right, because it's it's um, going slow. We also need we haven't taken any mist and water, so we're pulling up off the bottom. Take them all. We do that. Yeah, trigger them all. Yeah, yeah, and some fresh. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Gas tight in the house. We can. Okay, so we're slurping. Then we're doing a gas tight in the house, and then we trick in the mist. Yep. Gas tight. Um, do you want to get that temperature probe reading? So we're kind of in this, I don't know if it's orange mat or peachy mat, but it's... Okay, I think it's, I think it's more gray, personally. Tim? It was more fluffy, though. Yes, that's right. Sorry, it was different. Okay. A little bit. We'll, we'll take a look. Okay, we so got it. And then, and then, so that's... Those are the goals? That's it, Greg. Slurp away. Slurp. Slurp. Tim, gas tank, and house and coast. Those are some amazing samples. There were more than four cores collected. So if you look in, John, if you look at this camera here, you see like the edge of the peach mat. I feel like we were right shoved in right at the edge of that. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's what you Yeah, mm -hmm. it, it, did it look like a different colored map? Yeah, there's <laughs> yellow just right there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great. So that's 88. 88 of the it yellow. It's almost within at least 25 centimeters. Shoved in pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Amazing sight. Oh my god, search did this and I search it like this. When you're like, there's so much to collect. <laughs> there's so much to do. Okay, I'm gonna eat so much. Yeah, go, go do it. Okay, so I also cracked open a coconut doll for my lunch. I just put it on rice and ate it. Um, with warm and then half that back by your computer and then okay. 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 Okay.
Can you reach to the left of the little house, J Rod? Or on canister four, is that right? Should be into four, yeah. Okay. And we just want the surface of the mat, thanks, J Rod. The the whitish gray mat, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And from there and going to the left if you can. Not too much down in the broken area. So we, we were just talking about all these push cores that are going to end up in the lab tonight. Well, they'll be sectioned partly on deck, but part of them will end up in the lab tonight, and we're trying to figure out how to ventilate the lab. Um, the petroleum smell is pretty overpowering, and last night a few of us were sneezing almost uncontrollably, and that was nothing compared with the amount of petroleum you could see today that was coming up in the, in the cores. So this mat, you can't really see it. Earlier on we were looking at the mat and there were lots of little animals roaming around in the mat, lots of little shells, gastropod snails, uh, some small polychaetes, some little crustaceans. So this uh, slurp container will have hundreds of animals in it. Uh, we could probably index and go to another one. Okay. Thank you. That's number four. Red and black was already taken. And we found a few uh, animals in these mats that we didn't get back in 2018 when we were here. So it's been uh, very um, productive looking in these mats. It's We couldn't really give you a close-up now with all the sediment in the water. But uh, earlier on today, if you can go back on the YouTube, you'll see a mat that had lots of little snails crawling around in it. You could do another one of the same place. Same thing? Yeah, same area? Well, another one of this area. Yes, please. And then we're good. We're on to five now. Thanks, Rebecca. Just this surface area is probably where the animals can live. Below that, it's uh, as you, if you've been watching, the temperature gets pretty hot pretty quickly and very hostile to animals. But this surface zone uh, is with lots of oxygen and food. They're pretty happy. There's a lot of little tubes you can see there as J Rod's slurping the surface. And I think we'll be happy with that. Thanks, Jayron. Right. <laughs> okay, now what? That's it? Two, two canisters. You're happy. Okay. Yeah. Well, right. we're under the pressure, right? Yeah, so we can um, take a temperature in the house. Okay. Uh, no? no? Gas tank first, then check. Right. Okay, gas tank first. Yeah, I'm not sure we got that. We're not likely to come back here, right? I, I don't think so. I'll just have a little zoom on the mat. Is that okay? Or you're putting the... Okay. See if we can show you what we've been slurping. So there's not a lot of contrast in this sediment, but you can see there are some little white shells. Still a little dusty. And we've got several little worms there, some little anemones. And we've got a mesh on this uh, slope canister, so the 
water goes through and retains in about a four litre container uh, a slurry of all of this surface. So we'll be sieving through that and then looking at it under the microscope tonight. And hopefully we'll post some pictures later on in some of the crew's highlights. So now we're going to do a temperature measurement in the Gas in the chimney, tight, I guess. the gas tight gas in the tight chimney, first, which is the left hand one. Okay. Yeah, we took um, orange black. We want red. Z, can, do you want Z? Z, do you want to take yeah. over? Sure. This is your jurisdiction. Uh, I thought we did red black. We did red we black. We did red black. We did the one on the right. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I said that backwards. We yeah. did. We did red black. Okay. Good. Yeah. And, Thank uh, you. We didn't really give them an A, if they get an S number, so yeah. Matt near Haunted House, what do you like? Oh, so it is the second site. So this, these were taken in the first site, which is low temp and not oily, and these are high temp and oily. We got scale worms on the roof. Really? Oh, it is. It is. It's scaling. It's, it's scaling, scaling the it's roof. Scaling the, the wall. Vicky is scaling the roof. Yes, it's scaling. What? We. You'll definitely have to get a. You want to look at it real fast? Now let's just grab the <laughs> grab grab the bottle. Yeah. The reason why they're called scale worms. We didn't know it. Oh jeez. <laughs> Did you also think it was getting tarnished super quickly? I did too. Oh, it was, it was turning black, like, it, but not yeah. on the other side. No. Oh, yeah, the chimney was black in the other place. Yeah. This one turned black. And on this, this one started getting black on the outside. Yeah, that's, yeah. Wild. that's right. It's tarnishing. Yeah. That's the sulfide. Yeah. Mm. It's making pyrotite. <laughs> oh, okay. Micro pyrotite. Micro pyrotite.
How much can it be pressed before it's fired? Oh, I'd say, you know, a quarter of an inch is safe, half an inch is pressing so it. So if it's touching and I come in just a little bit more. Yeah, you're not going to trigger it just by brushing it, no. So like right there, I should be fine. Yeah, you're still good. Yeah, yeah, you're good. I can't see any flow at all, but maybe weak. Yeah, there's a little weak flow, but I think we should go for it anyway, so. There's, there's more flow, but now. Oh, actually, when I can see a little bit, yeah, yeah. When it was pushed down a little bit, it was. Now yeah. something just popped yeah. out. Yeah. Yes. Fire when ready. Up now? Yeah. Let's do one more just to make sure it went in all the way. Go ahead and trigger it again. Yeah, that looks all, all the way in. Okay, good. Yep, we're good. Yeah, down to Yeah, perfect. Take it out. Yeah, you can go ahead and take it out and. Um, Let's, let's try a temperature measurement in the chimney and then we're I'm done here Your next move after we get the tent. Pick up the house, fire in this script, and then maybe search for clamp patches if there's. If it's you want a miskin on bottom? Up. Yeah, yeah, on bottom. I think it's Just right where we are. Yeah, just not okay. um, Oh, and actually, maybe we should do that before we pick up the house because yeah. I figure we're going to pick up the house. Yeah. We, yeah. Yep. Yes. And we don't need to do. Do we need to do all four? We're not using. We should kill me if we don't do all of them. No, we, do, we can just do two. Just do two, right? But they uh, let's do. Uh, let's three. It's never three didn't work yesterday. No, but um, we need to do three to see if it works. Okay. It just what like, three nesting? One, two, and three. One, two, and three. No, whatever. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Dara, before we do anything, can we fire yeah. our nesting one, two, so and three? Was three. 
Oh, it's nice and clean. Near, so this is... Near Bunny. Yeah. It was right around Bunny. Yeah, so there's okay. the Bunny and there's the okay. cookhouse. I'm going to go grab him and... Uh, yeah. Or just any three Niskins, actually, but... As soon as we start picking up the house, I'll go get him. I'll tell him to look for the house. So, if we find Sinos, we probably have time to slurp one or two, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's the idea. Okay. Yeah. Is this was efficient. Fired one, two, three nestings. Yeah, which one's that? Can we take the temperature? No, we decided to do the Niskins first. Or yeah. One didn't fire. Um, Which one didn't fire? One didn't, and I'm Dang not it. sure about three. Ugh. Maybe they should just tap them all and then we look up and see which one's good. And that's what we did. You did, you did one, two, three. One fire. Yeah, you might as well just do four, too, in case three doesn't fire them. Just trip them both, and we'll take whatever one. Seawater's cheap. There's <laughs> a lot of it around. Not if we bring it to the surface and sell it. <laughs> Deep sea water. T probe in the chimney. John, where are we relative to our launch point? But relative to money? Uh, pretty much two hundred. About ten meters. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're very close. At the maybe north, actually.
meters at 220. Okay. About as far as the gas tank, which was in about you know five centimeters is all. Yeah, that's probably about where the gas tank was, wouldn't you say? Yeah, let's just sit there. It's not going to be very hot. Yeah, let's go. So let's call it three degrees. And yeah. So once we stowed the probe, we'll we'll put the uh, funnel back in the basket. I guess we ran out of oil to heat the house. Now, uh, the, the fluid flow was being directed through a little crack in the crust. And once we started coring and cracking the crust, then the fluid could go elsewhere. So we changed the fluid flow by what we did. But hopefully there might have been some fluid just sort of ponded in there that we hopefully will get a signal. But we'll see. Good timing. Last 
thing, picking up the house. Yeah. And then we just have to go 10 meters south. Okay. Zeno hunting. I can, um, I can, yeah, I don't care. No, no, we'll be here, so, might as well. Might as well give you some time out. Thanks, George. I'll wait for the lights. I know that shirt is open. I was going to paint my whole face. Well, we could be painting some faces. Well done, thanks Ben. And we are just going to pick up and head over to have a look at a little clam patch, which is about 10 meters. Where are we looking for the clams? Yeah, we want to go 10 meters, about heading 220. 220. Okay. Basically back in the direction um, of our starting. Heading towards their starting chimney. We've got about 20 minutes left today yeah. before we have to and bring out the submersible. Patches. So we're going to go over and look at a clam patch and get some nice video and see what other creatures are there. And we've got three more slope canisters available. So we'll probably do a couple of those. Okay. And then we have one more thing we're going to have to do with. Uh, we can't leave just yet. We've got to secure one of the cores. You can see there's a little, uh, there are transparent sleeves that go over the core handle and they help secure the core coming up in case uh, there might be a gas expansion and stop them blowing out. Thank <laughs> you. 
So this is right over on the far. Oh yeah, it's just nested in the. Did you see them scaling the house? I did. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, Ben. Ben's trying to pick up this core protector. In the background is a clam, a dead clam, vesicomyid clam. These are large clams about six inches long that have symbiotic bacteria and we're going to go and try and find a live patch of these clams. A little clam patch at now, I guess we were at 220, did you say, John? 220, 10 meters. Unless you see something you like sooner. No, that's it. Yeah, we could just here would be fine. Okay. If you can settle here, and we'll just have a look in that patch there. Settle right in front of it. Yeah, that would be good. That's a fish. fish. A... Mm. Yeah, let's. Do you want. Do you interested in any more no, no. anemones? No. No xenos. I don't see a lot of live plants. No, maybe we'll keep going. Yeah, it's a lot of uh, anemones yeah. using the clams. Yeah, we'll keep going this way. Yeah, we're just trying to find the live patch and Siphons there. Can I? I'll just zoom in, Joe. Yeah, go ahead. Thanks. Yeah, uh, those are. Uh, they're siphons, right? Yeah, yeah. No, or, yeah. We are quite close. We're pretty close. Okay, so this is going to be the. There was some thicker patches in the area. Yeah, we've only got a few minutes. Yeah. 
Um, yeah. But they're all buried. Yeah. I mean, I think just scanning like this around until they tell us. Yeah. Um, Which way is Bunny? Uh, just back to Starboard, I believe. Well, we could uh, just get one of these Galatheids or, or Moonadopsids. Tell it to you. Yeah, let's just get one of those. Um, there's a couple of little crabs. We might just try and pick those up for the last thing. Okay. There's one there. And there's we, one there. Sorry, Jared, do we have till 2.15 or 2.00? 2.20. 2.20. 2.20 minutes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Let's time. Only for you, Sean. Thank you. That extra, extra time is precious. We appreciate it. In that case, yeah, we will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, just, I just wanted to calibrate Greg. He seemed to be like, that was it. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll stand by your side, Greg. Make sure they give you extra time. <laughs> Because I don't remember, spot, this is not there. the setting I remember yeah, well, in terms of the bigger patches. Well, yeah, we want to find a bigger patch okay. of clams, so, it's of live flat. clams. It's not on this yeah. scarp, scarpy stuff. Yeah, the scarp goes down into a depression. So maybe we have to get up, is Bunny up on top of this? Bunny is right over here. Okay, take us to Bunny, Jared. Let's go to Bunny. Yeah, and then we just pull more hint ourselves here. So there's maybe more below. They were living, and they were like as dense as the hashy parts. Let's see. There's Bunny. Okay. Maybe past. So let's. Oh, yours. No. Other side. Will we have this side, John? Yeah. So Is it right this? There. Yeah. Oh, okay. Can I zoom here? Bunnies are below us. Yep, okay. We'll just have a look at this. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that's what I was thinking. Okay, where are they? Margins? Go this way. Okay, Thanks. We have this photo. And and Bunny is right here. And this is this is Bunny. And this is where did we That's from last one. Yeah. yeah. Jared, we're just going to have a look at this part lower left. Okay, can you come back just a little bit? I think you might have spotted one. Got a good feeling. Left side of the screen. Yeah. Left side. Yeah. See? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> All right, we, we're happy because we've spotted what we call the purple socks. I, I, I figured out what the predator of these are. Greg? No, no. What are all these? I only know one thing that eats pea socks. It's the... Dryer? No, it's the best, yeah, it's the best to went to sick them, yeah. which is close dryer. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> So you want to come down here? Yes, please. Okay. Uh, all right. Want to take the camera back? That's all right. Yeah, we'll be looking at this okay. creature. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I think I think Ben snickered when we got super excited about that <laughs> floppy weird thing. I, I, I didn't snicker. I snickered at Jared. Oh, okay. I was saying, uh, I don't think Jared hasn't seen her. <laughs> That's all you care about is that we're excited. That's right. The we don't know. You see a pebble of sand, they're like, ah! <laughs> like, my job is done. Well, then. 
Jared the Purple Sox was like a 12 year story of yeah. finding them and not was finding it? them. And, really? And, uh, uh -huh. yes, we will. And then in 2015, we finally found this one, which is called Zeno Tabella profunda. And that let us um, name four new species. Really? And, uh, they're very strange animals. They're they're animals, but when you when we get in and have a close look, you'll see how strange they are. Uh, and they're still of an uncertain position in the animal tree. Um, I'm part of the group that thinks they're relatively simple animals. They're bilaterally bilaterally symmetrical, but they don't have kidneys or a complete gut or many features that other animals have. And other people think they're actually more derived and have simplified their bodies. So there's, even though a lot of DNA sequencing has gone on, uh, it's still unresolved. And this is the first... Z saw a few Xenotabella earlier on in the other legs, but we haven't really seen... <laughs> it's kind of a big one, huh? It's yeah. about 10 centimeters, yeah. yeah. It's an adult. They get up to about 20 centimeters long. The biggest one's in Monterey, and it's called Xenotabella monstrosa. Nice landing. Okay. Greg, you have at least 15 minutes to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like watching paint dry to watch yeah, a Zeno Tabella. Right. <laughs> but we can tell a few things from this one. It's uh, a female. You can see mottled texture inside there. So that's her ovary. And the head is away from us and the tail is towards us. She has that, yeah, I don't know what that is. It's uh, like that rusty stain is unusual. They create a lot of mucus. She's uh, got that stitching furrow around the middle third of the body. And is that, that's, that's feces? They all have that, oh, okay. yeah. And they actually prey on the clams somehow. So they have a, they're basically a sack inside like a balloon. So they're empty. Um, but whenever we sequence them, we find they're full of clam DNA. Cool. But how they're able to eat the clam, <laughs> we, we really don't know. They found the mouth? <laughs> yeah, we, they do have a mouth well, and yeah. Um, the mouth is just in front of the furrow area. We can't quite see it. She might actually be lying on her back. They do have an upper and a lower surface. And the head is pointing up towards us, that little ridge. Yeah. We have sat and watched one for 30 minutes and they do move, but very <laughs> slowly and we then have to speed up the video. 
So the, the hypotheses for where they sit are either simplified, relatively close to echinoderms, or really simple, and they're the sister group to all of the bilaterian animals. All right, is there anything else we want to slurp around yeah, here? Yeah, I was looking. I mean, you can, you can, I don't know if you just want other, not obviously reserve one. We'll do canister one canister for this, but yeah. What about under the ledge? Yeah, yeah, why don't we do that? Just I don't know, I don't see any of your crabs. Yeah. Okay. We'll, we can we'll slurp this and then we'll do an, uh, a uh, new canister. So this will get its own canister and we're into number six. And then we'll slurp again uh, into another canister. Yeah, you want all the other animals The name is Zeno Tabella, X E N O, which means stranger or foreigner, and Tabella, which these used to be put in the flatworm group and it was called a strange flatworm. Now it's nowhere near really the flatworms at all. It's about, uh, there are now six species named in the world. One Europe, one Japan, and then four here in the Eastern Pacific. Great. There it is. And there it is. Great, Ben. Okay, we'll index that one. And can you reach this way, Ben, over here? Just slope around the this ledge. If not, we'll just slope around this part in front. And we just want kind of a surface area. Just the, the, uh, just the surface of the rock, the ledge there. And yeah, this surface, the surface of the shells. Yeah, that'll be fine. The wide. It's right around that edge. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Oh, there's lots of mat coming out under the ledge. Yeah, there's definitely got. It, it would mix the sample though, I don't think. Yeah, no, this stuff's interesting. It's yeah. it's different. Yeah. Oh, another Victoria one. Victoria one. Okay. And Do you need any more? I think we'll call that good. Thanks, Ben. It's plenty to look at. And I think we're happy with that. Lots of work um, there. Actually, one more thing. Uh, do we have time to try to break off a chunk of that ledge? It's it jiggled. I mean, not if it's going to take too long, but uh -huh. if, it, if it's easy. This ledge? 
Yeah, uh, just so right where you're slurping, because it's very similar to one that we collected from here three and years we'll just ago. Just go in the uh, go right hand pick, drawer and we'll be done. Yeah, yeah. pick bio box and be done with it. With the scoop or with the um, hmm? scoop or the arm? Uh, it's the faster arm. with the arm. Yeah. yeah. So I think if it if it can just be picked up with the arm, we get it. If not, then we skip it. From the What's our number? Okay. Um, Is that okay? Yeah. Oh yeah, I was done. This will be the last collection for today. Tip of the iceberg. Oh, it's a big slab. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Oil. Yeah. Okay. Break that in half. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just, Go for it. That's great. I'm, I'm, so, I'm so like just Are you checking again? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> we'll cross that bridge. But yeah. Yeah. All right. Huh. It did go in for carefully calibrated, right? Well done. Uh, Perfect oh, size. Yeah. It's still intact. Yeah. Fantastic. Right. Thank you very much. Right. It was awesome. That was terrific. That was great, Ben. We didn't overstay our welcome. <laughs> no, we didn't leave All What's right. That? Now this is the end of the. Sampling, and we've got a two and a half hour journey to the surface, and there's always interesting things to see on the way up. There's not one around two. Can you put an arm on it? I don't think there is one around two. There's, there's, there is? Can you put the arm on it? Got it. Got it. Okay, everyone, we're on our way up, and we will see you all again tomorrow. Or you'll see what we see tomorrow at a, another site nearby. Yeah, the one from number, on number four. But not your aluminum one. Okay. So.